Harry versus Room. Hello, everyone. Welcome to day two of Charity versus Room. Yay! Um, this is day two of our charity marathon this year, raising money for the Diabetes Research Institute. So, we're starting off today with a charity room classic. Ted versus John versus Ant versus Derek in X Kirby game. Uh, we're going to run out one day, but it is not this day. No, but it no, is not this day. There's so many no. We can start going to the old games. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would love a Superstar Ultra race. Okay. I've never played Met Superstar Ultra. With that Meta oh, Nightmare mode? That Meta Knight mode? Oh my god. Like, it's, sign it's me fantastic, up. fantastic, yeah. Sign me up. So, anyway. Uh, before... I see that now. Why are we playing this? <laughs> <laughs> before we get... This is the new hot stuff. <laughs> okay. Before we get too deep into it, um, I do need to say that uh, today's daily raffle is a five dollar is $5 for uh, the Kirby and the Forgotten Land fabric poster you might have seen at GameStop. Thanks to Linky. So, Ooh. thank you, Linky. Um... And yeah, so let's go over the rules for this race that we're doing today. So we are just doing a straight run through the game. So the first person to get the final hit on the normal final boss uh, wins. That means we do have to collect bottle these. Um, you don't, it's a fresh file, so we don't have ability power ups. Um, it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> and yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that's. I don't... I, I didn't practice. <laughs> I was I away. Only, I only practiced in quotes up until World 4, and then I just kind of stopped. I practiced I World I'm, 1. <laughs> um, I don't think I've played this game since it came out. So I haven't played this game since my review either, like a couple I, months ago. In fact, this file over here on the left is my review go. file. I, I, I was playing with Amy as she was playing through it for her channel, but I was Waddle D, and um, that's a little different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit. This, let, let this not speak to the quality of the game. This is a fantastic game. Oh, it is. Uh, it, it is just, I haven't really had any reason to play it <laughs> since I made yeah, the video. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I've been just, you know, kind of attention goes on the other things at the time. Uh, I don't think the game properly starts when you select the file though, Ted. I think you have to like choose your mode after. Oh, uh, that's right. You're right. Okay. So, so I, I think, I'm, let's have I it am start on, the, on the, um, on the I, wild, wild, wild mode and so spring breeze, I think. So yeah. really quick, Amy is commenting to me that me and the, my game are okay, but she can't hear the other comms. I'm not sure if she's watching off of my channel or the, uh, uh, the main charity room yeah, channel. So though, if so you're I, watching on Derek Ants or Do John's stream, please watch on the charity room stream. You can then see all four, um, all four okay, streams. She's, she looks like she's on my own, so... Yeah, everybody can hear everyone, so... Yeah. All right, that's good to hear. I'm not even streaming it on my personal Twitch, so I'm not the problem yet. <laughs> oh, Why so aren't you Derek, streaming it? If you press, I, so if you press start once. there and then hover over wild mode, and we'll press, we'll do the 3 to one count in on pressing on wild mode. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was just letting her know. Yeah, um, yeah so um, uh, I should <clears throat> also mention, uh, you might see that I start a little bit sooner than these other guys that's because of you're cheating yes that's because i'm cheating um the uh john derek and ant are streaming so i'm capturing their footage but mine's coming in through directly from my uh from my elgato so what that means is i'm going to look like i have a several second head start uh, but I swear to you, I'm only cheating in other ways, not this way. Uh, <laughs> what you don't know, it's, it's what Ant told me about before, the other day. Uh, Ted's just playing a video of him yeah. already doing it. <laughs> oh, my God. Hot GDQ controversy. Brain scratch twice, run. Is that something that happened at GDQ? Yes. Yes, it uh, did. Oh, uh, my God. Okay, well, anyway, uh, Stefan, why don't you 3, 2, 1, go us and then uh, read any donations we might have gotten, and then we can uh, – I want to hear that spicy story. So, All right. <laughs> oh, no. So press press start on go. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, Go. Bingo. We are in gamers. Best of luck, Chuckle Fucks. I'm playing Sonic. Okay. <laughs> <So I'm kidding. laughs> Sonic Adventure Redemption Redemption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got uh first starting off ten dollars from press play to Jason. Uh, I got my money on Kerbo winning. That's true. <laughs> That's a, oh that damn true. it! Oh, I gotta change the control settings. Oh, yeah, same uh, actually. Time. Oh god, yeah. Jeez, thank I, you for I, saying I'm, something. I'm doing that too, actually. I think we all lost time there. Let's lose nope, time I'm together. Good. What's, oh, the, what's the what's oh, the control so, issue? <laughs> uh, Wait, I have do you to play have, like a I heathen? Have, I have to have jump on uh, B and I'll oh, oh, babies. 
No. Why wow. it's, it's called playing correctly. All right, here's I can't my... help it if you're an incorrect gamer. Here's Do you seriously edge. play like a heathen <laughs> ant? My God. It's a race. Oh, I got it. Oh, be, eh. I mean, it's a race. We got to just, <laughs> just play I'll, the game. I will be significantly slower if I do not have my controls the way they need oh, to be. My shoes are not tied correctly. I'm going to lose the race. Hey, look, I ain't walking on untied shoelaces, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We also have $5 from Blue Dino. Johnny's Free Riders review introducing me to the Perfect Strangers theme has made it impossible for me to hear this theme without <laughs> thinking sorry. standing tall. <laughs> I think that was the consensus that everybody would say when they heard the, like, like, so this game has a great soundtrack. It does. I really oh, yeah. listen to some of our favorite themes as we're playing this. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the main theme, as good as it is, is basically just Perfect Strangers with one rip and I can't unhear yeah. it. I'm sorry. And then they say uh, that anyway, may the not worse uh, streamer win. P.S. Is Johnny gonna co is Johnny gonna co-commentate for anything uh, later? They have a re reading request. Yeah. They have a reading request for later, but don't want to do it now while you're. I want to do War and Peace for me for five dollars. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, I am co-commenting for a couple of things uh, later in the event. Uh, not today, not tomorrow. Uh, probably during the second half of the event, Blue Dino. So, assuming you don't mind waiting, uh, then you can uh, just wait until then. So I would or if just Johnny like, falls so significantly far behind that it doesn't matter. I would <laughs> like to make a small request for anybody requesting um, reading donations. We're always happy to, to do silly things like that, but please just try to make sure that it's fairly short so that we can then continue on with what we're doing. Due to the nature of this year's event, um, reading donations might require somebody to um, uh, stop for a significant period of time. Ooh. So... Thank you. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, hold on. Uh, crap. I forgot. There's the, the, yeah, the raffle isn't, damn it. I need to fix that. Uh, the raffle oh, isn't the loaded today. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. You're not a waddle D. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I know. Yes, there's people in the comments. Uh, yeah, the, I'm, I'm doing, fixing that now. Uh, because they yeah, have the raffle today for the fabric poster that is not uh, I forgot to uh, load it up so I'm fixing that right now no don't slow down come on <laughs> thank you Kirby just got Elf Lynn. yeah let's go uh, I'm working on it now myself, yeah. I'm Same. eating up the dogs oh, right now so Ant and Mai's dance are perfectly synced which yeah, means that's that Ant's weird. winning <laughs> uh, alright now I got it Elf Lynn. Oh, da, 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 oh, da, da. Oh. I'm gonna learn about co-op I don't want to worry about co-op. Bandana, help. Come on. <laughs> just, just throw me to the final world. Oh, no. I think come my on. dog's going to be a problem. Oh. There you go. No, come on. Go away. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to feel terrible if somebody accidentally goes to Waddle D Town at any point because then they have to watch all of the notifications of all the buildings you just unlocked. Well, you're, you're sent to Waddle D Town, aren't you? Yeah, you're sent to Waddle yeah. D Town. Plus, there is... I. <clears throat> I did make somewhat of a plan for Waddle D town. Yeah. Okay. So the thing about the thing about Forgotten Land, I'll get out. Uh, no, go ahead, Stefan. We got to make. Oh, yeah. The the, the, uh, the the Kirby fabric uh, poster is up now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Now, so now you can go in, uh, put in your money for that. So the thing about Kirby and the Forgotten Land, uh, well, at least particularly running this game uh, as fast as possible, is that there is a bit of like planning you have to do with like route optimization and shit. Because unlike other Kirby games that we play, uh, this game's not really a straight shot. You have to collect a certain amount of Waddle Dees uh, in order to get to the boss of the world. And if you don't, then you have to go out of your way to go back and revisit some stages and collect some of them. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's probably going to be the biggest challenge that we're going to run into in this game is making sure that we have enough Waddle Dees and re uh, making sure you're not wasting too much time on getting this Waddle Dee or that one. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to go for the ones that I know are easy. Um, yeah. Um, and front load the run with as many as, we, as I can. Exactly. I know how many I need, so I just need to get to that point. You see, I don't know how many I need, so I'm just yeah, going to be kind I'm of... Just, uh, it's kind of just like you're playing the game. It's like, man, I hope I got enough. <laughs> That's kind of where uh, I'm standing uh, at this I, point. I just did a little bit of research just to make sure I don't want that. You see, I tried to do research, but I only spent like five minutes, so I didn't. Try That's that. how long I spent. So yeah, <laughs> I'm I, just very I, particular I, with what I wanted to see. <laughs> I sipped it through my old footage for like a minute and I'm like, oh, that's what we're <laughs> I can do this. I, got, it's uh, going to be very interesting to not be powered up. Yeah. 
The game's probably we got a because the in, the inhale ability by itself is actually really powerful. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, twenty dollars from Eric L. Uh, Chudnoth. Good morning, everyone. Always glad to see you guys do this every year. As someone who managed to finally get his diabetes into remission, awesome to see you guys helping with a great cause. Question for everyone. What is a single game you like in a franchise you typically don't? Good luck to all. Thank you, and congratulations. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, definitely congratulations, for, first uh, of all. A single game Absolutely. in a franchise I don't like. Hmm. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. much of a Metal Gear guy, but I like Revengeance. Ooh. That's fair. I've still yeah. not played Revengeance. Uh, Revengeance is a great time. It's pretty intense. It's, it's like, also it's the most un-Metal Gear, Gear, Metal Gear games, so I probably exactly. why I like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a franchise I don't like. <laughs> That's my... Like, I, I don't have, like... I never have a... Oh, damn it. <laughs> I don't really have a problem with most franchises, so... Yeah, if, because first of the show, if I'm playing a game in the franchise, I'm probably already a fan of it in some capacity, unless it's, like, brand new. I'm pretty open to most franchises also. So, like, like, hatred is not something I normally... Uh... Yeah, hate is kind of a strong word. Like, I'm not into... I, I can actually give one. I'm not really into... Um, uh sports games like realistic sports games but for whatever reason nhl 94 on the uh genesis oh. i love that game all right that wasn't the answer i was expecting yeah i see right <laughs> Can I I, I, i've always had the opinion that every everybody even people that don't like sports games there's always one sports game that you just attach yourself to be like okay that one i like yeah yeah well it's just they're all just multiplayer games so it's just a matter of like which one like Tickles your fancy, you know, they're all fairly simple. Uh, I do love being tickled. Mm-hmm. We I have... don't know why I'm getting tickled, if I'm being real. <laughs> I ain't gonna leave myself open to attack by saying, yeah, just like getting tickled in general and now, man, people take advantage of that. Uh, well, John, may I introduce you to the quit button? Um... The what? <laughs> well, you're... That sounded like something else, Ted, are I'm you, gonna be honest. Are you, are you, are you, are you blackmailing me? <laughs> All right, who's formulating the twit longer for us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me go and start Fine. again. Oh, uh, I we have got to purposefully ignore all of the capsules. Crap, that wastes time. Yeah, I know. I accidentally grabbed one. I'm like, no. <laughs> we got Ouch. forty five. We got forty five dollars from Santiago. Good morning, gentlemen. I hope you are having a pleasant morning and stuff. As always, I will donate some of my money to fight the evil king, Dia 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 Bias. Lol. <laughs> yes. Nice. That's so much. That is good. Thank you so much. I, I kid. Seriously, good luck for the race. My question for everyone is favorite copy ability in this game. Upgrade counts. In this um, game? Bomb. Ranger. I like, I like bomb. bomb a lot, and Cutter's always been a favorite. Um, Upgraded bomb is ridiculous, the time bomb. I'm, oh, dude, I'm that... basic bitch guy. I always hammer stole my go-to ability. I mean, if we want hammer... the objectively best one, um, it's uh, final sword. Uh... Oh, true, true. Does it tell you how many waddle you need? Crap, no. Okay, oh well. Not until the end. I mean, I think you can hover around it. No, I just tried. It doesn't. Um, oh, uh, okay. So it's a it's a guessing game. Yeah. What's a guessing game? Sorry. Uh, how many? The waddle you need at the end of the uh, world. Oh yeah, it is a guessing game. <laughs> All I know is the total amount I need for the very end. I don't know for each individual one, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, we got ten dollars from Ian Bo. After Star Allies made me down on Kirby for a while, I'm so glad this game made me remember how great Kirby can be. What's your favorite ability? I loved Ice for the Invincible Guard and how damaging fully freezing bosses can be. Put yeah. this to survive the internet on Jackbox. <laughs> uh, so any variation of the... Oh my god, I'm gonna actually just bite it right there. Okay, cool. Oh, that's alright. There's no there are no lives in a Forgotten Land. Nope. Um, no, it's, uh, it's Mario Odyssey style. This is a good right. game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any variation of the hammer power up is my favorite in Kirby. My favorite one off power up that I think was only in one game, unless you guys want to correct me if I'm wrong, was the smash power up from Amazing Mirror. Uh, it's in, like it's in Robobot games. for like a. Like Wasn't a very, robot? Okay. Like it's a, like a very hidden. Yeah, uh, you thing. either can get it by using a smash Kirby amiibo or um, it's hidden in like three very secret spots. I see. Okay. 
Uh, well, Amazing Mirror was the first one to introduce it, and I ended up really liking it. Despite it being like, it's only like three power ups in one, but that's kind of why I liked it because the, there was versatility that other power ups I felt didn't supply at that game, which I thought mm -hmm. was a really big deal given Amazing Mirror was like the Metroidvania Kirby. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a mirror guy. Mirror is, is incredible. Hammer right. is typically my favorite, but I'm basic like that just because I love the power and it helps me get through the um, arena modes. I have trouble picking a favorite just because there's so many good ones. Um, like, I'll have a favorite awesome in any particular game, but, like, overall, um, I don't What's know. your least favorite ability? Uh, metal. Okay, metal's pretty bad. Light um, is, is uh, very stupid. Scan, whatever one that one was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Coffee. I forgot I there even was, was a scan. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in, in Superstar. One of the best games has one of the worst abilities. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Adventure slash Nightmare in Dreamland is also one of the best, and it has a lot of very, like, one-dimensional and situational power-ups. Yeah. yeah, but there's not a power-up that just gives you a power-up. <laughs> like, that's it's all that, it does. And, and Bubble. Uh, bubble is just a slightly not-as-bad uh, um, scan. You know what? Uh, the award for most improved power up is definitely um, magic from I mean, yeah. Mirror to Squeak Squad. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say cleaning. Cleaning is also. Oh, very that's good. that's that's a. Contender. I never liked cleaning. It's really nice in Star Allies. You just don't really get to do much because it's not a great game. Um, <laughs> I think a bunch of people say scan is only good in co-op. Oh, because I bet it lets you be Oh, oh that makes sense. Okay. Now I never even now, thought about that, that, to be honest. Now that makes sense. It's still stupid, but it makes sense. Yeah, it's definitely no, still stupid. No, no, I didn't un want to unlock this. No. It, it, it assumes I have friends, and that's that's just categorically <laughs> <I'll dare> wrong. you. <laughs> <laughs> related to something that, because yeah, uh, the, through the, the Jackbox bit for the, uh, the Jackbox bid war will be ending uh, tonight, right before we play Jackbox. And again, let just remind you the way it works is that, uh, since how many Jackbox games they are, you just put uh, in the in the comment description which Jackbox game you want. Uh, right now, the ones that we have up are Civic Doodles, Patently Stupid, Quiplash, Talking Points, Survive the Internet, and Champed Up. So probably going to go through those and whatever else and then go through whatever order the most amount of money gets for that. And then going through the other bid wars that we have right now... Uh, Fortune Street is uh, Super Mario 1-1 uh, one, one is currently winning, but Ghost Ship is very close behind. Mario Superstars has Woody Woods still in a pretty decent lead, but Spaceland is behind that. Dead by Daylight has The Survivor as the massive lead. Whoa, whoa, I didn't realize this. If for Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 is now in the lead. Really? Uh, over 2 at $580 versus wow. 495 so Man. now it's like, yeah, now it's a fight between those two. You know, uh, I, I've actually, never played that I, one. I don't mind that because, like, aesthetically, I find uh, Marvel's Capcom one better than the second game, despite the like the second one being like just better in every way, basically. Even but though it's going to take you for a ride. Yeah, yeah, like, like, and listen, I'm like, I'm down for that ride. I really am. But uh, Marvel's Capcom one still had uh, like. A fun Marvel's Capcom theme to it. It also had individual character themes, while MVC2 just kind of went with like generic jazz pieces, which are still really good. But it also, I feel, lost some identity. Uh, Pac-Man 99 is winning for that. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is winning against uh, TMNT Shredder's Revenge. And for the insane and for the insane trilogy uh, race, uh, Crash Three is winning behind uh, with Crash Two very shortly behind. So that could Actually be surprised uh, Scott Pilgrim's beating TMNT. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's like, come on, where's the respect for TMNT? I mean, Just did Scott we've Pilgrim on Brain Scratch. Scott Pilgrim on the charity before, and also um, it's a brand new game, so I would have thought. Um, people would have wanted to see that, but I guess... It, it looked like somebody put, like, a big... Yeah, because it's, like, 225 right now, so somebody put in a big thing for Scott Pilgrim, but it's like, oh, if, if a lot of people put it in for TMNT, that that could uh, come back up. Uh, let me go through my donations. First stairs set is screwing me up. <laughs> I'm like... Yep. Uh, $10 from the Common Zero. Hey, howdy, hey, all, it's me, some random goober on the internet you don't know, giving $10 for a good cause. Oh. Anyway, a question for all involved. What kinds of pasta goes well with a good session? Oh my god. Way to god, I blocked Christ this out of my lot. psyche. <laughs> I, I, 
Must be, I, I don't know what the uh, hell you're talking yeah, about. It's a, all right, so it's a brain scratch reference. It's a reference to one of our carbon commentaries. I think it was, Man. It, was it triple deluxe or was it? It was, it was playing uh, at Robobot. So yeah. personally, I prefer thicker oh pastas as opposed to like the really thin ones, yep. like angel hair. <laughs> yep. So like a nice mm -hmm. penne works really mm -hmm. good, I would say. <laughs> if you've ever had fusilli, fusilli is mm, mm, beautiful. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure you pronounced that wrong. Too silly? Yeah, well, you know what? I'm not Italian, so... Uh, <laughs> you don't say. Hey, stop being a wise guy. I'm playing Kirby here. What the hell is that? I think that's I, just I, Boston. Who all the Capricola? What do you mean? Capri Capricola? It's Capricola, yeah. isn't it? I feel like I'm no. definitely the farthest behind at this the, point. The, the, no, I, 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 I... This uh, stupid... Do you stairs. think Kirby's a Capricorn? I don't. I don't know where astrology. <laughs> and, and they say, "Have a good race, guys." I'm root. Have a good race, guys. I'm rooting for the guy who has a face. Okay, so I really wish that we weren't racing, so we could watch this one. Uh, this one. Uh, what are the the little the little guys again called? The waddle. The waddle. The woofies. The the woofies. Oh, yeah, woof. thank you. Um, he, like, if you watch that first Awoofy, like, just go, you can, like, just walk through the entire mall, like, just having a, the best yeah. time, uh, but we're doing a race, so I can't do that. Uh, there, like, there are also just low-key moments where Kirby's an absolute fucking dick to the guys. <laughs> like, every this, game. Yeah, yeah, I know it's every <laughs> game, but here specifically, like, uh, when you get to, like, I think it's, like, the third world, which is, like, the amusement park. Uh, there's just a line of these guys like They're waiting to go on the ride and then you go on the ride and just yep. fucking cut oh, in yeah. front of them. Cuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see when like the official Kirby Twitter was like, Congratulations gamers, at least one million Awoofies have been slaughtered by every player in the game. <laughs> Finally, Why do you say geez. things that you know will hurt me? All right, we got, uh, let's see, uh, $5 from Captain Kohai. Hello, it's the random fun facts machine, Captain Kohai. Just like before, I have a new fun facts for you all. I, however, won't be donating too much this time due to me going to Italy in October, and I'm also planning on getting some things before then, but the results will still be the same. Capping out. Thank you, Captain. Uh, uh, five dollars from shard. Hey guys donate again. Like I said, I would I love that you're doing a race of one of my new favorite Kirby games I'll be watching the race to the end and we all know the one true Kirby fan John will win Like I said, I'll be yep. donating more next weekend. So good luck to all which of us has not won a Kirby race um, Me, I don't think I have Do you? No, you I sure. Oh, no, I know I won one of them. Yeah, yeah you count the sad. ones we did for Star Allies, because we did a lot for that game. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Star Allies did have a lot Star of races. Because Star Allies, despite all of its problems, still has the best racing mode in all mm -hmm. of the Kirby, in all the Kirby games. Yeah. Guest Star is awesome. And then uh, uh, $10 from Kyle Turner. After the Mario movie, what Nintendo franchise do you think should get a movie? Pikmin. Pik Pikmin. Yeah, they've already done Pikmin movies, and they're great. So. I like that we had that same sync. We didn't even talk sure, about it before. Sharing a brain cell, yeah. That was beautiful. Did we just come be be I mean, we just become my best friends? I mean, I might <laughs> be a little biased, but Metroid? <laughs> Ooh, what? somebody Get should make that. I'll probably say that. <laughs> uh, Star Tropics. That's how we bring it back. Oh, uh, there you movie. go. And we'll bring, uh, what's his face? We played Nathan Drake and Spider-Man to do I'd Mike say Jones. Earthbound, but we already got Stranger Things. No, it's gonna be it's either Tom Holland or Chris Pratt. It has to be one of those two. Oh fuck! Right, <laughs> Chris Pratt is Mike Jones from Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we just did some uh, stunt Jack casting Black by yeah, having she <laughs> says. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, twenty-five dollars from Trios. Ho oh, there! Just donating to boost TMNT because this injustice cannot go unanswered. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that you was a game he could have done. Is injustice. Um... Oh man, I haven't played Injustice in so long. Not about Injustice. <laughs> All right, who's winning? I don't think me. Um, I'm just about to finish the um mall level. I'm not having reached the mall level yet. Crap. Yeah, same. <laughs> no, same here. I've been trying to front load Waddle Dee. Oh no, no, I'm I didn't doing. mean to make people feel bad. Oh shit. <laughs> no, that's it's cool. <laughs> Oh, I oh, forgot and, uh, there's a free Waddle Dee for just knowing how to get through the mall. Okay. Uh, I probably oh, wasted uh, seconds. Oh, no. Uh, Nathan asked if he uh, uh, if he could join in. Nathan can join if he would like to join. I probably we would like to join. Ask. Oh, no, uh, we're trying to keep Kokums, uh, those that ask it, at least, or at least they're scheduled there. 
Yeah. Oh shit, my bad. No, you didn't fine. see nobody look nobody reads the fucking at that I left on Discord. That's fine. That's, That's fine. That's because you reads. at here instead of at everybody. God. No, I should have at no, I didn't want to be a dick. <laughs> sometimes you have sometimes you have to be a dick. Yeah. I don't want to be rude, point. but I just want everyone to stick to the rules pretty yeah. <laughs> it, It's not being a dick I just, if I just want you to fucking read. It's and not being waiting a dick. for the stuff to Please. like Nathan. show up. <laughs> Nathan, I'm so tired. I I, I can see John. Just, just, I, just I, read I, the fucking rule book. <laughs> How late did the uh, the streams go last night? Uh, it was just past midnight when we finished the Sonic Adventure nice. race. Not too bad. Yeah, no, we've definitely gone later. Um, the latest, the official record for latest charity room stream is still me, for the record. Uh, when I finished Super Mario Galaxy 100% at right. um, uh, 6:30 in the morning, uh, I think it was. Oh Christ, a lot. Oh uh, God. Wait, do we not count my sunshine shit? When did did you finish? Uh, how long? I did both times. Well, it, it, it's lo longer stream, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I think it was a longer it stream of sunshine, late. but I think technically uh, Ted later, finished so. quote unquote later. Yeah, so it's latest stream as opposed to uh, oh damn it, <laughs> longest uh, as to longest stream. Yeah, yeah, because you started at like like six p.m. or so. Oh, I need to. Oh. I need to get my freaking Dark Souls nonsense back into shape here. I forgot that you have to like dog like a man. I so wanted yeah, to let's just give Bayonetta uh, yeah, let's give Bayonetta a Kirby roll. What the hell is I gonna say? Oh uh, let's <laughs> I mean there was that mod um Break demo. with Kirby with Bayonetta legs, yeah. <laughs> it, there was the Bayonetta legs and there was another one that gave him Dante's hair. Nice. <laughs> was there one that combined the both of them? It should be. But yeah, I think And and I have the same plan as far as front loading. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if it pays off. Probably won't, but we'll probably won't. I'm I, gonna see my, if one of my my plan is to Sorry. just get the easy ones along the way and hope that's good enough. Worst case, this is just me getting to play this game again. So that's... yeah, what a shame. I mean, yeah. this off the game. Wait, wait, you guys actually play Kirby games outside of these? <laughs> wait, wait, you actually play Kirby games? I thought it was just a joke. Absolutely. Y'all actually. I attempt cool. to. <laughs> Sometimes they make it difficult. I was catching your uh, Mega Man like practice run uh, yesterday. I was like, I should have challenged Trav to a, <laughs> a Mega Man X race. I love uh, Mega Man X. No, I'm not actually. After this, I'm going to bed, dude. <laughs> no, that's Were you up all night? No, I just didn't sleep well. Oh, okay. Feel that? I just got back from a trip and you know, hotel beds. Hotel? What were, uh, what were you doing? Was it just like family related stuff? Or? Yeah, it was a family thing. My uh, grandmother is part of a um, charity group. From the charity room? They're called the Federal Order of Eagles, um, and she just became the Grand Madam President of the oh, entire okay. country. So, also, yeah. sounds suspicious like the Court of that, Owls. That, <laughs> I mean,. <laughs> See, Johnny said cult, and then what you said is like, wait a minute, the initials are F O E. Yeah, that... <laughs> <laughs> it does come across as like a, a, cult. a, a, a fun fall. squad, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, shit. Every villain is Lemon. <laughs> Derek's grandma for fun the charity room win? Oh, John, you beat, you're beating me now. I must have been real. What ability do you <laughs> No, use? put it down. <laughs> <laughs> you use fire. Okay, that's interesting. Close the stream, Ted. Yeah, so like you're automatically sent to the Waddle Dee Town after the first boss. Is like it, it's at this point where you take the time to go to like the blacksmith and like get your power up and then just never come back here again unless you absolutely have to. Oh my god, it really sounds like you're talking about Dark Souls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, is there Kirby oh, yeah, is the black uh, yeah, the Dark Souls are, are Nintendo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, there are blacksmiths in the But thing. nothing's uh, unlocked yet to start, right? Uh, the, the weapon shop, that's probably the most important thing. Yeah, but like you don't have any blueprints or anything. For the you, give, you, you get your first blueprint free. Oh, okay. And do you have a, a rare stone to use for it? I think the first one's just given to you free. I think the first upgrade is free, yeah. Yeah. That's how they get you. Yeah. We, got, <laughs> we got $5 from Ian Bow. I recently 100%ed uh, Unleashed HD, including all the town missions and DLC S ranks. All I can say is I really like the day what? stages. Werehog is okay. Eggman Land isn't that hard and is a good final level. And Johnny's going to blow a gasket when he gets to this game with the nine replays of every stage from no. Hot Dogs. 
I just did it. Don't do it. Don't do what? it. What? Follow for a like unleash. Oh, I mean, I was gonna do it at some point. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not worth. Nothing it. can I hurt just... me anymore. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> play me off, Paul. Fucking laugh jack. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you are just given two free rare stones for your first upgrade, so you can evolve any power up you want that are available, which cool. is not much. We also got uh, $5 from Jave, uh, Jave Fuentes. Hello all, I'm so psyched for another Fun the Charity Room event. I don't know if you guys have talked about seeing the, seeing as this is the first time I'm tuning, Oh damn, the thing moved, tuning in, but what is everyone's opinions on the new Pokemon games coming in November? Keep up the good work, everyone, stay blessed. So I might make it a thing to actually get this one compared to like all the other gens that I've ignored. I still have not played Sword and Shield, believe it or not. You're not missing like, much. Yeah, you're really not missing much. Um, no. I've just been kind of on and off with Pokemon over the last couple of years. Uh, what's the name of this gen now? Uh, Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet, Scarlet and, right, Scarlet Witch. Uh, yes. Whatever the fucking name was. But I, I, no, I, I think I'm, I think I might actually give these a shot compared to a... Did you not play Arceus? No, they have not. Arceus was, was really good. So that yeah, so I heard. Arceus, Arceus is the best game fun. to come out since Sword and Shield, since Sun and Moon. Uh, it is, I guess mm. it is still technically the best game to come out since Sword Black and, and Shield, White. So I'm not lying. Um, it's the best game to come out since Black and White. Uh, no, I think points. I think Sun and Moon are still better. But I like Sun and Moon. I just like Sun and Moon. Too, it's too hand I, got, I got so bored with Sun and Moon. Yeah, it's too handholdy. It's a little handholdy, but I it it actually I, I has get, a decent plot. <laughs> I I get uh, why it's handholdy because the it's the Pokemon franchise, but it was really really boring. I wish I, Pokemon could hold my hand. That's funny. I, yeah, because it, I thought Sun and Moon was pretty engaging to, throughout the whole way. They tried to have a good story for like. The second time ever, um, which I appreciated, yeah. and, and then also, they retconned some of it for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and they made it worse, which still to this day will never stop. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm pretty pissed about that as well. Um, you can't also, have interesting antagonists. It also no. it had a good um, it had a good selection of Pokemon, and also I appreciated the changes to the formula they tried to do, as opposed to like just keeping it the same. Honestly, the thing that made me most excited about Scarlet Violet was the fact that they announced that you can do the gyms in any order. Like, thank you. Oh, apparently. okay. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. I haven't it, actually watched the presentation yet, so... It being yeah. open world just... It, it, it's a change-up to the formula that's kind of needed. Yeah. It looks absolutely crusty. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah, like, the visually, graphic... man, it is... Uh, <laughs> the graphics oof. are terrible, I agree. Like, there's no excuse. It's the biggest but... media franchise in the world. <laughs> Um, so so was Arceus, but Arceus was was fun. At so. least Ar yeah, at least Arceus was trying something completely different. So I appreciate that. I will say I, the freaking what is it called? The jewel thing I think is really dumb. Uh, oh, it, it's just oh. mega evolutions. Yeah. It, yeah, it sounds like it's just a generations gimmick. Yeah, it, I, don't it, know, it, I don't know why they insist on doing a gimmick every single time. It is, and it is legit just mega evolutions. Yeah, uh, Ted, uh, Caro, Caro's saying that your volume is low on stream. My game volume or my sound volume? Your uh, your sound uh, volume. Your voice. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan says you're sounding really low and muffled. Okay, uh, hold on a moment. When I get the next chance, I'll move my mic and hope that Just helps. yell. I love wide mouth, Kirby. I'm, Works think, for me. I mean, I can't I, really yell because I... Oh, this leads to an extra room. I ain't <laughs> bothering with that shit. Um, I don't want to yell because my brother's, I think, still sleeping. Um, so. oh, I didn't expect a serious answer. I was joking. <laughs> oh, he wakes up at 5 a.m. Oh, no! No! You fool! Uh, I say as I immediately start yelling. Um, <laughs> he wakes up at 5 a.m. every morning for his job, so I don't want to like, be a dick. You know? Man. We uh, we have uh, $40 from No Nitro. No comment. Uh, Thank you. $30. Thirty dollars from Juan Delgado. Since Trav is here, fuck it. Can I please Hello. get Boomer Plankton to reenact Skullface's uh, nine-year-old speech from uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, and oh, then yeah. they have the script. I'll give you that. Uh, Seventy-five dollars from a Toast Ghost. Here's another big donation. Here's a big question for everyone: What's the weirdest, not necessarily bad port of a game you've ever seen? Weirdest port? Weirdest port? Um, weirdest. Street Fighter on the Game Boy. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I ha remember that. I had that. That was the weirdest thing ever. Yep. I'm gonna put my vote in for uh, Super Mario Advance. Really? Because that game, that port is that port's bizarre, man. Um, 
It's still a solid version of the game, though. It's a great I guess, version yeah, of the yeah, game. Yeah, I'm still trying to define weird, like unnecessary, maybe. May, uh, I guess. Or Mortal Kombat uh, for the Game Boy. <laughs> Mortal Kombat Advance. Mm. No, Mortal Kombat Advance is just awful. Bad. Mortal yeah. Kombat for the Game Boy. Has anybody Any ever? Any Mortal Kombat um, on the Game Boy or handheld actually is pretty bad. Advance on the GBA is actually like the king of the. Street of the Fighter Alpha Three Game Boy Advance is weird because I remember that it's actually good. Did anybody ever play the Tekken game on Game Boy Advance? Yeah. Is it bad? There was, there was a Tekken on Game Boy Advance. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but it, it sure does exist. Fight, fighting um, game, fighting games on a handheld on, with, with like too few buttons are just they just make no sense. Nope. So I will do this uh, voice read, but I need to add a couple things to my soundboard. <laughs> Oh boy! Okay. It, it is. It, it is also. It, it's also very long, so I don't know. Yeah, if you, I'm you, ready. Might, you might want to cut this down because, like, even though they put thirty dollars, like, this is really long. I don't Are think. Are you we sure? Should I can do it. Re War and Peace for these donations this is like my god, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally do it. No, getting, no, that, we, getting that money's worth. <laughs> yeah. If you're fine with it, yeah. But let me just go through a couple of comments for like in the comments. Some people are saying Xenoblade and Hyrule Warriors on 3DS. Uh, Resident Evil 2 on N64, uh, Tekken 3D, yeah, it's like a lot of 3DS games people are saying have very weird ports. Uh, let's see, uh, press play to Jason, $10. Gonna head out to bed since I work tonight, but I'm giving money to TMNT because Scott doesn't deserve anything. And yeah, now TMNT is winning. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? Man, I am falling so far behind you guys. Listen, <laughs> listen. All right. I, I am the farthest behind. I Because I just got to Waddle Dee Town. I'm like enjoying. I'm just enjoying my time with the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's and a then... creepy game. And it's just having a casual playthrough. <laughs> and right now, uh, $20 from Fearless Fighter. Oh. Hey, all. Thanks for taking part in such an hey, honorable y'all. endeavor. I wanted to ask, is there a video game, movie, or TV show that you've tried to convince your friends is good, but to no success yet? Cave story. <laughs> There's a story show. Poor Elliot. <laughs> Poor Elliot yeah. and Matt, like, uh, my god. Oh, they, what am I doing? Like I don't, I don't gotta go here. No, they don't like the game. They hate the game. Damn, that's a shame. He, he also played in co-op, so... Yeah, yeah. I, I, gave that. Like, I gave him the completely wrong. Getting 100% no, no, in that game, they, they were, or getting also, the... They were, they were hitting it for, like, the fundamental things, too, and I was like, I, you guys are just wrong, but whatever. I, that's part I of my will say... Getting the true ending in that game is a pain Oh, yeah, it's absolutely Oh, absolute horseshit. I think for me, one oh, for that... 101 is the game that I could never get people to actually play, despite. Have you very ever heard of effort. Codename Steam on the Nintendo 3DS? <laughs> yeah, Ted. Jesus Ted, Christ. that is ours. Yeah, absolutely ours. With the Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Little known you know obscure American president Abraham Lincoln. Two appearances: Codename Steam and American History. Sorry, three. <laughs> also, the Conduit Two. <laughs> uh, I, conduit conduit too. Too. <laughs> I, I guess for mine it's rivals of aether because i've tried getting so many people to play that with me and nobody wants to play except for apple but i'm afraid of you, <laughs> <laughs> you should be. i think that's just something nathan hears at all times <laughs> Tr trav that's a game where we're on evil play e even playing field evil playing field <laughs> evil <laughs> <laughs> You know, since we're here, I'm going to try to perpetuate another game that will likely be the failure of many people trying to get people to play games. Has anyone here also played Live Alive yet? I want I to, but I'm not, not I haven't not gotten a chance yet. to play it because... I that game is going to suffer a life of, oh, I just got so many other things to play. But Yeah, especially because Xenoblade came out right after. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't for the, if it wasn't for the uh, retrospective, I would have uh, tried to get squeeze in Live Alive before. I Live guess. Alive is so good. It's so It good. does look amazing. Um, it has a lot of uh, Undertale-like qualities in terms of story Oh beats, man, I can't believe is... Live Alive from 1994 is such a, is such a Undertale ripoff. Rip <laughs> um, yeah, I've been, that... hearing, I've been hearing great things all across the board about the game, and I uh, I know Nora got it for herself. I'm not sure if she played it yet because she's already in the middle of three RPGs around the time. Well, luckily, Ted, it's only like 25 hours now. Listen, I really want to... Um, I'm really excited for Live Alive, but now that it's out, maybe we'll finally hear something about the Dragon Quest 3 HD remake, um, please. Um, they announced that game like a year before Live Alive, and it, we haven't heard a thing about it since. It does get me more excited for the Dragon Quest 3 remake. Dude, that game's going to be so freaking good. Um, 
I mean, I think Quest 3 is already really good, so, um, yeah. I mean, the Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake, it looks fantastic. I can't wait. Mm. I just want every SNES RPG to be remade in that style. Seriously. Like, if, if Square Square's stumbled upon something. Money, they would remake Chrono Trigger like that. But, oh, yeah. my God. I mean, I mean, Chrono Trigger is already perfect as it is, but mm. I would not object to an HD that or remake. Six. Six, like they're they're like again, like uh, every SNES RPG at the time. Hell, give me Lufia <laughs> and the Fortress of Doom. My, uh, my I want Terra Enigma. That's ooh, Terra that was, Enigma, that right, was right. Enix, and that would be like an action a, was take. That a sequel or a prequel to Soul Blazer. It's in the the quintet trilogy okay. or whatever, but it doesn't have anything to do with the other. Right. As far Is as that I the know. one that never got released over here? Yeah, because there's like religious uh, references and stuff in yeah, America. In America was like, no. <laughs> yeah. How do I? Oh God! How do I switch the flight controls again? Uh, uh, you hit LR. It gives you a prompt in the middle of the flight. Thank you, God. Okay. Because I can't play. I realized John was God. <laughs> what? Uh, what did I say? No, I said God's in the game. You can't have God in there. No, no. Every <laughs> JRPG about... has God. Yeah, every, every JRPG makes. No, it's, God. Ted's like thank. Like you answered, and Ted then said thank you, God. So. Oh okay. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> I should have went with it. Oh my God. We, He's we God. All, it's we a all me. know that God. We all know John's omnipotent. No, <clears throat> I'm, I'm definitely impotent or some other shit. Uh, wow. Uh, there yeah, that's not something that. you Thank you for sharing on this, damn it. Should take out today's sponsor, Blue Chew. <laughs> More like Blue <laughs> Ball. I'm impotent. <laughs> I'll say it's Trav. You can go and do your thing now. Okay. Um, do you want me to cut it down? Because I will happily do this whole thing. How long is it? Um, it is a page and a half. Oh, man. Jesus. <laughs> um, however, it, it is uh, one and a half spaced, and it's uh, written like a a poem. Uh, so, like, every line doesn't even reach You do whatever you're comfortable with, because you know, we're here for four hours, so. All right. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm almost ready. Oh, didn't like that. <laughs> Be tasting your mic. <laughs> a little bit. <sighs> Pick up the waddledies. Thank you. Let me make sure that this doesn't blast your ears out. Okay. Oh, Derek, you're going for rare stones? Yes, I am. I have, a, like I said, I have a strategy. I'm going to see if it works. Oh, okay. Playing the long game. Trying to. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> To unite Bikini Bottom and the whole wide sea, Mr. Squidward thought he, he, <coughs> uh, Mr. Squidward thought that this was his boss's will. But I do think, oh fuck. Uh, but I think he will never understand what he wanted. Before he ever walked or cried or pissed, even before he was born, his mother's tongue was gibberish. Is this gonna get the stream content ID for the record? What the hell oh, is shit. this speech? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he doesn't even know the pain of losing his own language and legs. Not yet. He cannot understand his will, but I do. I was born in a small can. <laughs> That's turning into Joe Swanson. Um, <laughs> I was a. <laughs> I was still a small child. I was raided by woman, big woman. What does that mean? Uh, Torn from my elders, I was made to speak their language! With each new post on Twitter.com, my masters changed alongside with the words they made me speak. Words are really weird. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening right now. So, the, so the, the thing is that, as much as I was talking about like how the music might get us caught to ID, it was perfect for when you were fucking up and reading the beginning of the lines. <laughs> <laughs> With each change, I point. changed too. My thoughts, personality, how I saw left and right, this charity changed me! And only now, uh, not only my visage, Words can kill. Would you speak them to me? Uh, I was invented by letters breeding inside me. Ew. Uh, the New England Patriot once said, It is no nation we inhabit but a language. Make no mistake, our native tongue is our true fatherland. 
My mother and fatherland was stolen from me, and so is my past. All that's left is my future. The words came fresh. <laughs> you, you sound like you're in pain. <laughs> I, I feel like Trav is having a stroke right yeah. now. The final and only parasite. It knows English and Portuguese. <laughs> God, I didn't mean to say that shit. Trav, a straight you smell burning toast? Uh, what? <laughs> Do you smell toast right now? Uh, I smell soup. Um, a strain of the vocal cord parasite. I will exterminate the English language and Spanish too. What? Yeah, this guy got you reading a whole goddamn novel. Hold like, on, it's almost, it's, it's almost done. It's almost done. It's almost done. With this, I will rid the world of inflation. All men will smell nice again. Reclaim their past, present, and future. <laughs> Why am I going this way? Oh my god. To free the world from Squidward, let the outside land sans lingua franca. The word, what the, I'm having a uh, word. Oh, yes. <laughs> the world will be torn asunder and then I shall be free. People will suffer, duh, a phantom pain. The world will know a new tongue, a language of boomy booms. My Metal Gear Solids shall be a thread of which all countries are bound together. Inequality. No words will be needed. Every man will be forced to recognize their neighbor's nose. This charity versus room is peace. We still have three hours left in this car ride. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? That's uh, that's Phantom Pain. That is from Skullface, the bad guy of the game. Bad I've never yeah, played one. Phantom Pain because I it just looked like crap. <laughs> Hey, uh, see, that's funny because like I think like gameplay wise is the best of the series, but like it has the worst story and the worst campaign. Uh, so I actually did end up cutting that down. <laughs> yeah, I'm about what? to say because I looked at it and it was like that's so long, and what I'm like, do you really want to do this? Like, I, like, like <laughs> my 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 fuck charity event like five years from now. I need you to reenact the entire Sonic graphic novel from IDW, please, if, in your <laughs> Luigi voice, if you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Just saying, guys. Yeah. I think we just scarred Ant. Yeah, I don't. I, I, the, the voice was impressive. That was like, well, like, well done, good job. But I don't know Thank what you. just. I just. Well, if you ever that. do more, more, if there's any more SpongeBob games, Ant, you know who to go to for uh, <laughs> anything custom. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, I was. And also, I'll, I'll do it for free these. and a cup of coffee. Oh God. And also, like that someone said, like, very all... free for getting coffee. <laughs> and like hey. someone said, all the, all the SpongeBob music is public domain, so yeah, Wait, technically really? that okay. wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> oh, perfect. Not this for three hours. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have a uh, five dollars from No Nitro. Ted, you made me buy Codename Steam. Recommending games works. Codename Steve. Codename Steve. <laughs> what happened to Steve? I am a genetic freak. <laughs> Is this uh, we, okay, so years ago I saw a um, an edit of the scene from. Uh, Infinity War, where um, uh, the Guardians, Iron Man, and Spider-Man are talking about their their plan. Is that the specific SpongeBob music from that meme I saw, where they edited it over? And it's just like, it's I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that one. I think it's the. That's a good one. We got uh, we got a uh, forty dollars from Lane Dirt. Hi, I'm that guy whose name Stefan can't pronounce. I better have got it right this time. You might remember me from FTCR Spyro One and SA Two LPs. I wanted to donate last year, but uh, I slept through it. Whoops. Wait, I can <laughs> see that. This year's could have slipped me past me as well. Just passing by and donating. Not a fan of streaming. Keep it up. John, you need to get more sleep. No, um, I was... <laughs> okay! I, I, just Absolutely will not. I just discovered something that I didn't know I can do with the Kirby power-up that I'm using, so... What oh, really? did you discover? Uh, so... When you... Or so you know how you can guard, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you have the fire helmet... Uh, you, you kind of duck with the, with the fire poking out. With the, the, the tropical, it's coconuts. They automatically destroy themselves. Oh, there must have you. been a, a oh. hurt box on the, um... Yeah, there's probably a hurt box on the, the helmet itself, but it's pretty cool. That means I don't have to dodge the coconuts. I have a hurt box. I think we all have a hurt box, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, just called your body. 
How's everybody what? doing, by the way? Oh, I'm like, like I'm life? absolutely fucking tired. Like that, that I've I said that like at least six times already. Must be nice to have sleep. <laughs> eight, eight hours. I had eight hours of sleep. I made breakfast. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, what you make? I'm, I'm uh, just baking and eggs. Ooh, damn. I made eggs in the bacon grease, which is uh, that's, that's, that's how you do oh, it. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, so you make your bacon first, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I I was always the guy that made the bacon last because that way it's still really high, hot when it's well, high and hot. It, it tastes good no matter what temperature yeah. it's at, to be honest. With you. To be, yeah, I usually I to be fair. The bacon early so I could get it on like some paper towels and get rid yep. of the grease. Yep. So what you're saying, Ant, is you would eat a bacon popsicle? Sure. That they, they you, you, you know they do that they do like popsicles and ice cream and stuff oh absolutely yeah, there's definitely okay. bacon ice cream out there it's which is basically just vanilla with some bacon bits in it yeah not bad. yeah that actually see, sounds kind of good no i think that like uh, it's no. weird it, but it's not bad it's, it. it, it's the same thing as like dipping a, a dipping french fries in a frosty like it's the salty and sweet factor yeah um, educational waddle d ignore I would him usually cook my bacon first and then if i was doing potatoes i would cook the potatoes and the yes. bacon Oh, yeah. oh, see, I've done that before, mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, today I was lazy, and I just made some Campbell's chicken noodle soup for breakfast. I can't. I, I can't that is some Campbell's. Campbell's hate, tastes like enough. It tastes I like Campbell's. noodles and water. Yeah. yeah. I hate uh, that, uh, <laughs> and I hate to inform you, but that is indeed what soup is. <laughs> no, it's soup. It's noodles Yo. and broth. Yeah, yeah, no, this isn't broth. This is just water. It's just it, water. It's just water. <laughs> Good gravy. Oh, thank you. It's just water. Actually, water. hold on a moment. There I'm might all... be there might be some like bits of chicken bouillon in it, but there's it's just Maybe. water. Trev, that's not breakfast or soup. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we have twenty five dollars from Ave the Gamer ninety five. Hi. That's, Hi. Him. that's the guy. Chicken in uh, I don't know why that was so funny. Just hearing the first two seconds of Donkey Kong Country music just really woke me up an extra bit. Uh, Five dollars from Captain Kohai. Random fun fact. There is a town in Austria literally named Fucking. Its town sign has been vandalized and stolen on occasion. For obvious reasons, the town name has been changed to Fugging. Though people have vandalized the new town back to the OG name. Captain out the OG like, name. It still I mean, sounds like we yeah we OG fucking it here. <laughs> but, uh, the patch notes really just, it just sounds like, more Italian like this this fucking guy. This fucking yeah. guy. It still sounds remarkably close to the original name. So why even bother with the? It sounds like honestly, a line that you use. Oh really? I screwed that up. Um, there's an intercourse Pennsylvania. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I I was gonna say isn't the, isn't there uh. Uranus that has a fudge factory somewhere in America. <laughs> like that. I mean, I assume. Like, they they My play colleague. into they play into the joke of calling it Uranus. Yeah, you, I think you should at that or, point. Yeah, you just go with it because you get stupid college kids sniggering at it, so it's just like sure, whatever. Coming Georgia. And Carol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, a, are they gonna play this for each individual one I pick up? Oh my god. Th there's what? a comp there's a ball torture. torture. What'd you pick up? Um, I'm I'm used the I'm using the secret uh, present codes to cheat my way to getting rare stones quickly. Oh, okay. oh I didn't even think about doing that. Fuck. <laughs> you guys are ruling the like go out of your way to, for the for the, for, for the rare stones. It's interesting. Uh, if these one these ones are quick, so like, yeah. and I can use them to unlock abilities I like. So yeah. Um, I'm not like gonna play. Um, I'm not gonna play this game. <laughs> no, you're right. Actually, stream's over. Everyone go home. Oh, what? Um, See, I, f I forgot all about those codes, so I'm. Stream's over. John can go to sleep. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I mean, doing this these menus is wasting time because now John's like a whole level ahead of me. But you know. Well, you guys have been levels ahead of me. I'm just trying to get myself to a certain point. <laughs> Ant and Derek are just having fun. That's one of the true wonders of this room. <laughs> We have a thirty dollars from Pancakes. Hi okay. from France, everyone. Huge cool. support for this charity event. Little question for the Kirby players: We all know the series has a lot of dark moments, but what was the most shocking moment for each of you guys? Shocking moment in Kirby? Shocking. Uh, the end of zero Robobot. two bleeding. Yeah. From the zero two. I have to go. Really good too. Yeah, zero two is actually a big one. But yeah, the end of the end of Robobot. It still blows my my, my mind. Yeah, uh, I I still haven't seen that yet. I've, been trying to avoid it you should definitely go into that fresh uh, fucking oh. shocking wolf from kirby 
No, I, 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 I can't really say anything because I've... I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't remember. Really I'm guessing that. osmosis probably to remove some of the shock for uh, uh, those. Yeah, because I want when I especially when I was looking at some of those Kirby games for that marathon I did a couple of years ago, like the the shock was gone. Like I I, I already knew like most of the plot twists of other games just because I was surrounded by a lot of other Kirby yeah. fans in my years. Yeah, I just I I do want to imagine like what the initial reaction to Marks. Was, yeah. was at the time as as, mm -hmm. as a kid because I again I learned that through osmosis and yeah Mark's uh, soul in the DS remake is a little bit that more intense it, because right. it the scream that it does the, oh, oh my god, god. the scream yeah, when, when you kill him, him. <coughs> yeah when you kill him blood curdling yeah and that's oh! that's not in the original <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like that <laughs> <laughs> you see tinkle outside that's actually a fairly <laughs> ominous I love Taco Baco. bell <laughs> But the fact that I know it's the tinkle. Taco Bell bell like ruins yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Well, they, now all I think about now when I hear the Taco Bell gong is like a Guilty Gear counter. <laughs> <laughs> I've not played Guilty Gear, so that's interesting. Uh, it was a mod. It was like well, it was like a day one mod for Guilty Gear Strive on Steam. <laughs> Every time you get a counter, they play the Taco Bell gong. We got uh, ten dollars from Mick Yeager. Can Trav yell the "I want room service" bit from Johnny uh, Mnemonic? Oh my God! I, I have I have a it's thing. I, I I found a quote that doesn't look too long, so I'll post okay. it in here, and it looks so. I think it's like it, it's it, it's 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 not too bad. So it's like, no, like it's now I have short. to go. It's pretty short. Yeah, now I have I'm to go and review, to be like, okay, is this fine? Okay, so there you go, Trav. Yeah, please. Yeah, let, uh, me, we, let me get uh, different SpongeBob music. I mentioned this uh, earlier. Uh, we're always happy to do bits for everybody. Please just be cognizant of how long said bit is. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm good at biting off more than I can chew. Giggity. That's what she said. Hey, hold up! <laughs> All right, here, let me look. But while you're setting that up, let me read uh, the uh, other donation. Uh, $5 from Lane Dirt. You got my name right. Sheffin. 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 <laughs> oh, Ant, you're you already that? at the... Oh, no, that's the World 2, boss. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm behind. Don't... Yeah, don't I'm, I'm behind, behind Ant now because of me doing like doing prep work for later things. Oh, I just did I just did a bunch of prep work. I thought you were at the World 3, boss, and I was like, oh, God. No, did... absolutely not. So back to the um the funny like city names, Caro sent me a message saying that she's got relatives that are about 20 minutes from coming Georgia, and their water their water tower says coming home. <laughs> Hell yeah! Very nice. Caro, thank you for that. <laughs> I mean, you know, they could have gone worse with that. They could have just gone, you know, hey, come inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, man. Yeah, but what if you're going for coming? Stream? Come and go. Uh, no, yeah, come and go. Actually, come and go uh, is a, a uh, very well-known gas station here. Are you, oh god. Yeah, you, I mean, you don't go to the ejaculate and evacuate <laughs> every no. day, bro. I can <laughs> I can safely say <laughs> I do not go to the ejaculate and evacuate. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get this quote up. Um, let me know when you're ready voice, for it. Yeah, it's in the voice chat. So, uh, is it is now a good time? Yeah, go ahead. All right, cool. One second. Uh, okay. It's after World 3 you unlock the arena, right? I think so. <laughs> listen! You listen to me! I, I don't know the, the tonage for this. Uh, you see that city over there? That's where I'm supposed to be. Not down here with the dogs and the garbage and the fucking... Wait. And the fucking last month... Uh, hold on. And the fucking last month's newspaper blowing back and forth. I've had it with them! I've had it with you! This is, I've had it with all of this! I want room service! I wanted the club sandwich! I want the cold Mexican beer! I- <laughs> I want the ten thousand dollar a night hooker! I want the shirts laundered! Like they do at the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo! <laughs> so... I, I unironically love Giant Mnemonic, the movie. It's not a good movie, uh, but I think 
I still think it's good anyway. <laughs> uh, it's also one of my earliest exposures to Keanu Reeves, and that speech definitely hits different when there's SpongeBob music playing. It sounds like <laughs> something Plankton would say in a SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know my life was empty until I heard Plankton say, "I want the ten thousand dollar a night hooker." <laughs> I've never seen Johnny Mnemonic, but my first encounter with Keanu Reeves was, um, uh, Speed. Uh, uh, yeah, that's still pretty early. I think Speed predates Johnny Mnemonic, actually. So um, my, my like first, a year, by like a yeah. year or two. My first Keanu Reeves movie, I'm pretty sure was just The Matrix, but I didn't watch The Matrix until like 2009. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, mine was Bill and Ted when I watched yeah, it. Cause I, yeah, because... I guess like I know some people might be like it wasn't not Bill and Ted, and it's like maybe because I do have like some inkling of watching Bill and Ted as a, as a kid, but I didn't know who what, I didn't know what I was watching. I didn't really, definitely didn't know that it was Keanu Reeves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my experience with Bill and Ted because I was really young when I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, Giant Demonic was the first movie I, I watched where I distinctly remember watching it because it was Keanu Reeves, uh, and yeah. you know the rest is history. Bill and Ted's a, a kind of before my time, so... Right. Um, I saw it in theaters. Bill, Bill and Ted or The Matrix? Uh, Bill and Ted, it was a reshow. Oh, a reshow, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm say, wait a minute, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, with us here. <laughs> I like to just tell people, yeah, I saw it in theaters. It's, it's malicious. <laughs> malicious? <laughs> it's, it's foreboding. Uh, we got uh, $40 from, let's see the name, Sonic the Screwdriver. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot this was one until I logged into Twitch. Anyone, I all, anyway, I always enjoy these. Figured I should donate. Thanks for everything you everything you do, guys. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I love well, Light Bulb Kirby because it has the fucking funniest looking face. Oh, Light Bulb Kirby is my favorite mouth oh, football that I've seen. Light Bulb is mouth. Get that out of your mouth, Kirby. We uh, have fifteen. So. We have fifteen dollars from the nearby Waddle D. Wanya, Wanya. Poyo. <laughs> Poyo. Hi. Chicken in Spanish. We got. <laughs> <laughs> we got three hundred. We got thirty dollars from uh, Blitzstreak. Hey guys, I'm happy to say that it's my first time donating after a couple years of not being in a great position and I can finally give to help out for one of these streams. Here's a question for everyone. What uh, sound effects or notes to a song do you guys hear and instantly just lose it, funny or otherwise? Da -da 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 -da. First note of Megalovania. Glad <laughs> 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 well, we're all sharing the same brain song for that one. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Amy, Amy un un unironically loves Never Gonna Give You Up. <laughs> that's a good dude. Song. Okay, dude, yeah, good they song. play that on the radio station at work. Like, they just play it normally. And, I have, It makes yeah, me so angry. It, it, it plays, like, at least ten times a day at my work. Uh, someone said uh, the Werehog theme. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, someone said uh, for Sonic Forces together. <laughs> together we. That's all I think about now. Yeah, like I don't even like Fist Bump as a song, but I do no, like Fist Bump sucks. as a meme. Then again, together we. I like the like breakdown for the chorus, and that's it. Uh, we got two hundred dollars from oh, Fen. Wow. Thank you. Uh, hello, all. Nice to see y'all racing a Kirby game again. If it hasn't been asked yet, do y'all have any favorite bosses and boss themes in the Kirby series? I personally rate this game's final boss very highly, and the music slap. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I will always love Waddle D uh, DDD's theme. Yeah. The final boss theme in uh, Kirby, uh, not Star Allies, fuck. Um, Kirby Triple Deluxe is damn it! I didn't want that. Really good. Triple Deluxe is um, awesome. I love the that. The first boss. phase of Robobots, final boss. Marx's theme always sticks out. Marx's theme is good. Galactonite's really good. I'm not a big fan of Marx's theme musically. However, it is as a compositional piece very impressive because it like switches time zones every time zones. What? Time Sixes. zones. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. It's, 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 it's time travel. No, it switches no, it's time signature like every <laughs> ten seconds, and it's like in like five seven and like seven eleven and other bullshit. Seven eleven. Uh, Go so convenience store. <laughs> we, we have to fight Mark. We can't defeat Mark in the eastern time zone. We have to defeat him in the central time zone. 
You have to be in the central time zone 7-Eleven. I am a big fan of this song is composed in 7-Eleven time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dumbest thing I've ever it's heard. It's not even a final boss theme, um, but well, Superstar Ultra is my favorite Kirby soundtrack uh, in the series. I, I like a lot of songs in that uh, game. You know, Superstar Ultra does have a good soundtrack, but I think if I had to pick just one, it's got to be... Um, gotta be kirby 64 um that sounds yeah the atmospheric stuff in 64 like the freaking um forest stage quiet forest oh dude so good and uh factory inspection or whatever it's called investigation also it has the best kirby first level music uh yep. don't at me and i can't right. I, I like it when uh kirby music uh complements the the current aesthetic of the level or like this the situation for the level that that is currently happening uh, I think Superstar Ultra did it the best with uh, Meta Nightmare. Well, not Meta Nightmare mode, but like Meta Nightmare's Revenge. Or Meta Knight's Revenge, sorry. Uh, when you okay. invade the Halberd and the music picks up. Like, um, yeah. it, it's like the second version. It's like, dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. like, I fucking love that song so much with that level. Robobot has some dubstep. Really? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's There's like one it's, song that yeah, has dubstep. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Robobot. Why before. am I surprised? Wait, why am I surprised that I flew this one to play Robot? No, no, that it has dubstep. Oh, okay. Yeah, the game did come out in like 2015, so it's not that surprising. So did I. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was it 2015? Oh. Um, I think it was 2016. I think. Uh, Wait, Robobot came out in 2016. Okay. Isn't the 3DS not like 10 years old at this point now? Don't 20, remind me. Uh, yeah, 2011. Right? Yeah, it's 11 years old, I believe. Please stop saying words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've I've lost the shock of things being older than I think a long time ago. I'm I'm 37 this year, so oh, fuck I it. Saw, uh, I'm <laughs> fucking uh, because Evo is this is happening. Uh, they dropped some news about Skullgirl Second Encore, and they're just talking about like it's 10 years after the release of Skullgirl. It's like. No fucking way. It's been already 10 years since Skullgirls came out. Oh, God, it has. Is Second Encore like the Super Street Fighter of the yeah, series? Yeah, it's, it's basically okay. a uh, re-release of okay. it. Okay. I'm surprised they haven't done Skullgirls 2, because that game's been, like, super successful. I mean, well... Never the developer issues, so... Yeah, that was the developer uh, issues that was going on behind uh, that one. Okay, then I'm not surprised. Uh, I still mind. need to play Indivisible. Oh, yeah. like, uh, I've supported it, but never played it. Same. Is it good? It's, the game's it's, out, it's, right? it's not even about the game itself. It's everything that happened with the game behind the scenes and shit. Oh. I didn't you realize guys... it was indivisible where all that all happened. Do you guys know all of the deep lore behind the Wandaria dog? The what? No, there's lore. Uh, yeah, there's well, lore I might have, but Wandaria I forgot it since dog. then. His name is Wendy, I think, um, and he has a girlfriend, and this theme park is based off of all of his adventures. Um, oh, ain't that adorable? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Oh, that's wow. I oh, my lips died so in a Kirby game. We can, we can uh, knock that off the list. I mean, <laughs> I think if you skip all of the power ups, this game's probably one of the harder Kirby games. Uh, not that it's that I mean, challenging. Just by virtue of having a third dimension, yeah. Still not. No, honestly, I think because of the virtue of the third dimension <laughs> that they kind of went a little safe even for Kirby standards in terms of, like, challenge offer. The game is still a breeze. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see what they do for the next Kirby game because I like this yeah, game th a lot. To, to me, this is the return to Dreamland. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, I like this game a lot, but um, I I think that there's still a lot of untapped potential. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. There's so many abilities they can figure out how to make it in 3D. This is this is the game that you play it safe with just for the sake of having a smooth transition. Yeah. Which is so weird because the, for 20 years plus, you're wondering, it's like, is there much to change in the transition besides adding a different dimension? Well, the answer was no, not really, and that's why. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like like you play the game and you enjoy it, but then you also ask yourself, why did this take so long? Uh, comfort? <laughs> I don't know. I so. Goodbye. And then we're back to Kirby now having a random, a random ass spinoff coming next. So it's oh, I'm so excited. All is right with the world. All is right with the world. Dude, I'm but so excited for Ball Guys. It's gonna be great. Ball oh, guys. Oh, the, the Fall Guys thing. That's right. That's right. Oh, I ball, you guys. Said ball Guys. Ball, ball yeah. Guys. Ball, ball, ball. It's, no, oh, it's, it's, it's fitting. 
we have uh, ten dollars from Emil Dubas, putting this towards uh, Meta uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So since Johnny has finally popped his cherry with Ratchet and Clank, who here in the stream that has played at least one game in the series is their favorite one? Also, your favorite weapon. I still oh, need to honest, play Ratchet, honestly, Ratchet 2 with the bouncer. Yeah, b bouncer is really is bouncer probably is one of the best. Yeah, yeah, I was um, gonna say bouncer and Kraken Time is my favorite. Uh, it was right. cracking time for me. It is now um, Rift Apart. Really? Yeah. Man, I did not have high uh, thoughts on Rift Apart. I think really, I'm, you I did think not I'm enjoy Rift Apart. I think I'm an outlier. I, you, really, I think you might be. I, I didn't not... really dig Rift Apart. Why? Uh, well, what did you what about, it? about it? I've seen footage. I thought. It I, like, I thought like, it was too white bread of a Ratchet game. I don't like this new movie like. Uh, I wouldn't say kitty, but like family friendly direction that like 2016 I didn't really like. Um, I don't think anyone really did now in retrospect. People seem to I mean, not it like plays it. fine, it just doesn't capture the original. Uh, I don't like Rivet. I don't like Girl Clank. I forget her name. Uh, I didn't like the Rift mechanic because it just took the linear design of a Ratchet game and then just unnecessarily split off the levels so you can change the graphics. I don't care about that. Um. Didn't have any space travel. Like I thought, I think Kraken Time is the most ambitious Ratchet game, and I was kind of hoping that on PS5 they would just crank the ambition up, but they just did a very safe Ratchet game, and I just I don't know. It's very mid uh, Ratchet for me. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm probably gonna forget all about that by the time I get to rip apart myself. Like yeah, you have a lot now. of games to get through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot yeah. Of games to get through. I also think I do think I'm an outlier. In that. Oh, okay. Oh no, but it, I still I, I I like the different opinions because it makes me genuinely you curious. And... Also, Ratchet's a terrible character in Rift Apart. He's such an <laughs> idiot. Oh my god, they made him into such a moron after 2016. He just wants to be friends and do things, but like he had such depth, I thought, in the PS2 and PS3 games, and now he's just kind of dumb. I don't know. I don't really. Yeah. Thank God. Did he have depth player. in the PS2 games? Well, not, I, I, yeah. I mean, I like the uh, the not. I like the being a jerk and then becoming friends and finding out what his motivation is in the first game. People don't seem to be dig that all that much. Well, the thing um, is, with as Kevin says uh, in his video series of videos, and I agree with him, you don't <clears throat> see the development of him becoming a better person between. Uh, it, it all happens off screen. I mean, the fact that I had that at all in a platformer for me, I remember just playing it for the first time. I'm like, oh, this is different. Uh, so that, that's just how it was for me. And then I right, thought right. I thought two and three were really funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I, I don't Amazingly think the future. Funny. I don't think the, like the future games are funny, but the future games are epic. And I think yeah, they work not, towards that fine. I don't not, like that they just use Nefarious again. I'm getting tired <laughs> of using Nefarious. It's yeah, it's just I didn't like Rift Apart. <laughs> yeah, I, I always felt that yeah, the, the Ratchet was the best as, as a character in the future games. I felt like it, like he, he he felt more like as an actual like person and like had had like more of a personality and like had had a character of development. While in like two and three, he's just kind of like oh like he's funny, but it's like there wasn't really a lot of depth to his character. And then after no, Crack yeah, in Time, it's definitely. pretty much felt like they didn't know what to do. Yeah, it's like pretty much after <laughs> Crack in Time and especially in like the remake and the movie, it's like yeah, they felt like they didn't know what they they have a hard time figuring out. What what to do with a ratchet they're trying, they're trying to mass market ratchet even though like the, the originals were all about consumerism and stuff and i don't know it's just a different ratchet the the issue is um they've waited they, the lombaxes have been a, a trigger that they've not pulled up for such a long oh, time god i hated that too that they, they keep using that tag we, they use that tagline in crack in time like oh can ratchet ever find the lombaxes and that's the plot line of rift apart it's been 10 years i didn't like Rift Apart. i'm sorry it, it <laughs> feels like they're gonna finally you know solve that with uh if the next ratchet game just ends with oh, we're gonna find the Lombaxes next time. I'm gonna lose it because they've been using the same tagline for ten years. But otherwise, Ratchet's pretty good. Holy fuck! There are so many props. Uh, we got a. To, I still need to play Ratchet. It's been on my to-do list for years. I, Ted, I honestly gotta think you'll love going Commando on uh, up your arsenal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I generally prefer to wear my underwear, so I don't know about that. Um, okay, you have well, to play them about, with no. Well, what about shoving things up your ass? Uh, Yo, let's that, go. You know what? Not in front of the children, John. Well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you made me. The system is down. Long the system the is down. Trav, we gave you that soundboard so you could turn sounds on and off. Not so you could throw <laughs> soundboard doing. raves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, uh, we have $40 Don't from cheat. Tom Brew. We have $40 from Tom Brew. No comment. 
Uh, got $20 from Blue Dino. Okay, I was gonna save this, but that Plankton voice is making me weak. Can Trav do <laughs> some of Flowey's uh, pre-fight uh, speech as Plankton? Oh, no. So you can just here, I'll just send you the link and ju just do, yeah, ju 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 just do a, uh, a couple of those uh, lines, but you don't have to do all of them. Okay. Uh, then uh, <laughs> there's $20 from Luther, Luther uh, Amarine. I've done nothing but teleport bread for three days. Oh, classic. <laughs> And then $20 from Mirror. Question for all. I got into gaming uh, the last couple of years, so I've missed a lot. What would you say are essential games to play? Essential? Just in general? Yeah. Uh, for our, uh, It depends on what genres you like, honestly. Cause yeah, yeah, that's if you, tough because I think of it personally. It's a very... Uh... Yeah, if you like RPGs, like I would say, like Dragon Quest three, Final Fantasy six, Chrono Trigger. But if you I don't like Dra RPGs, Dragon Quest don't... eleven is like the RPG of RPGs in the modern. Yeah. Yes. That yeah, I agree but with that. like if you don't like RPGs, don't bother. You know, like well, if yeah. you don't like platformers, I'm not going to recommend Super yeah. Mario World. <laughs> Actually, know? Ted, you will love this. Speaking of Dragon Quest eleven, um, <clears throat> Amy's daughter was bored uh, one day and just looking for a different game to play so she decided to try out Dragon Quest 11 she's never played an RPG for, before she's 7 oh. and she's fallen in love with it oh, she's nice. learning RPG systems now but she is she just yeah. she just finished the uh, Sand Kingdom section that's you see people here's people under people kind of uh, underestimate that like Dragon Quest is made for young kids and if I think if they pushed that more it could find more of a audience in the West because like it is meant for like eight year olds, <laughs> you know, like that's just the kind of game it is. Um, and yeah, like it's just all dumb jokes and, um, and like simple gameplay. Like it's not necessarily game. ambitious in any way. It's just a no, very it's polished. Uh... It's, exactly. Yeah. And that's why I like it. They're um, good at what they do. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But like, First person shooters, um, like that's completely out of my wheelhouse. I don't know what you would recommend for someone who's never played a first person shooter before. Oh wait, what, we have someone here who could recommend some uh, a first person shooter. Yeah, that's right. You play FPS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that, okay, well, that, I did not. Well, like I guess that. more Trav's <laughs> monkey can. <laughs> <laughs> A okay, oh, Trav, we were talking about this last night with the, um, with the in the uh, Sonic Adventure race, but you weren't there at that point. Um, is Duke Nukem 3D like actually a good game, or um, I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. I mean, like, it gets a lot of praise, uh, especially since it came out around the same year as Quake, which Quake was like a huge deal from a technology standpoint. Because uh, Duke Nukem and all that uh, Doom, classic Doom, uh, weren't technically 3D. It, it was 3D in the same way that F-Zero is 3D. Like, it's still uh, running it as a uh, skewed uh, 2D plane. Um, and Duke Nukem was fine. Um, a lot of people definitely played it because they couldn't upgrade their computers to play Quake. Um, I don't think that's solely the reason people remember Duke so fondly. I think that there are people who genuinely love it. Um, I don't think it's too amazing, but I'm also a, a babby that did not grow up with it. So, I, I don't know. There, there's something I'm missing. I, I need to research it more someday when I do a video on it. Um... I hear think, the like, console the old ports. Doom games have held up. Though? I see. That's the weird thing because uh, I those games hold up so well, and the level design for the most part is uh, pretty good. The weapon balance is incredibly impressive for the time, and that carried over into Quake. Um, and I don't know. I think like id Software just had something really good, and then there were other shooters from around the time of Duke Nukem, uh, Shadow Warrior, and Blood that were incredible from my perspective, um, even though uh, Shadow Warrior was quite racist. Um, Wait, whoa, 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 whoa what? <laughs> uh, the main character oh. is... Uh, they. The writers didn't seem to know if they wanted this man to be Chinese or Japanese. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh God. No. And um, one of the weapons, so you can get a rocket launcher in the game. 
Um, and then you could find alternate ammo for it, which is a nuke. Um, and oh, he no. literally makes Hiroshima jokes. Oh. oh no. They have a Japanese nice. man making Hiroshima Very nice. jokes. Very nice. Well, yeah. we don't know if he's Japanese. He could be Chinese. The, the developers weren't sure. Um, yeah, it's really fucked up. When I play it, I turn the voice lines off because the game is awesome. Just, oh. Is that the game is. that the Doom creator made and then turned out? Um... No, you're thinking of Daikatana. Okay. Um, which that game was also... That game was racist in the same way that anyone, uh, any white dude trying to voice a uh, character of Asian descent is. Yeah. Oh. It's like exaggerated accent. Which oh, I no. think com <clears throat> compared to Shadow Warrior isn't as bad. Um, still bad. <laughs> oh man, uh, Gold Star, you tried to be less racist. <laughs> <laughs> Race there was um, there was an attempt? Question mark. But uh, uh, anyway, sorry, tangent aside. Um, yeah, I don't care for Duke Nukem 3D too much. <laughs> um, Okay, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna do something here, and I'm gonna see if it pays off. Um, I'm gonna try to get the Ben Knight sword. Um, oh, good luck. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not uh, I've hard. I've actually never I'm played just, this game, so I don't know what that entails. Uh, it just it means I have to play the Coliseum, which takes like five minutes. Um, and I don't know if that's gonna be worth the time. Is the is the question? Well, we'll, we'll see if my whole uh, <clears throat> uh, attempt for what I'm going for. Basically, I'm I'm trying to go for my bet, my favorite weapon, my favorite power, just so I can beat the the rest of the game very easily for myself. Right. Uh, I, think, I think I'm uh, just go for the Gladden Knight Sword. <laughs> yeah, there I think you go. The, I think I'm just the, the tortoise and this tortoise in here. Uh, the Shadow Warrior reboot uh, was a lot more respectful. Um, <clears throat> the first two games did still have uh, a white dude doing a. a Japanese accent, um, but then in the third game they hired a actual Japanese man to voice him, which feels more respectable. Yeah. Um, and the humor and writing in them are, you know, not racist at all, which is nice, um, and is actually one reason why a lot of purists didn't like it. They didn't like it because um, it wasn't racist. Yeah. This game lost because, balls. Well, you know, you yeah, you know how people are. Yeah, this no, problematic exactly thing is it. gone. How dare you take away this problematic thing? Wow, you're making wokeness. <laughs> I, I was trying to talk. <laughs> um, Stefan, uh, yeah. which ones am I reading? Uh, the, the, during during the pre, like any of those lines in the pre uh, fight, you don't have to do all of them. Okay. Give me a second, actually. I need to warm up my throat. Let's see if I can catch up because I'm a lot I'm focused now. <laughs> but I think Ted is like super far ahead right now. No, uh, John's, oh, wrong winning. Music. John's winning by a lot right now. Actually. Of course he is. And I'm wasting five minutes to get a sword. World's number on, so. one Kirby fan, Johnny. Absolutely. I'm surprised. I'm not. Because <laughs> we get distracted by all this and this stuff. Oh, yeah. It's like, That's oh, we know these things and this thing. I wasn't going to win. And John's just like, ah, screw it. I don't care. We can do a Kirby's well, Dreamland like, race next time. That's so, like, sick. earlier this morning before we got the stream started, like, I said, like, like under my breath to them, is like, I only practice on the World 4 after that. I just kind of stopped. And I was like, oh, cool. I didn't practice at all. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that Johnny is doing better because he tried harder? That sounds yeah. up yours. Yeah, he's Johnny is yeah, he's hard. Hard. I never had sex with a girl. Derek says he can focus, what? and then Trev immediately plays Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, filled also, with determination. <laughs> uh, Derek, how are you doing? Uh, I only got answers from some people. <laughs> how? What do you mean? How am I doing? How you doing? In oh, life. just in. <laughs> Just how you doing? I'm just in general. I didn't realize Wait, in general. What? I didn't know if you talk about the what game or. How you doing? <laughs> I, I'm 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 fine. I I I'm, I got my next um, uh, retrospective planned out. I'm gonna be playing some Xenoblade Three as soon as I finish that. Yeah. Uh, first things first, though. I gotta finish my uh, review of um, Klonoa for the Nintendo Force. Yo, good uh, shit on the nice. retrospectives, by the way, Derek. Like you. Absolutely been working your fucking ass off getting those yeah, videos yeah, yeah. done. 
Thank you. Hour long really videos well. are no joke. No, no they're Very not. Impressive. Absolutely not. Have you gotten a chance Don't to talk even to play right Xenoblade 3 yet? I've played up to the end of chapter one. <laughs> I was like, have you even ever played a Xenoblade game, dude? Yeah. <laughs> well, the that's the funny me. thing. He hadn't played an SMT game before the, the retrospective. Right. <laughs> no, wait, I, I, think he had, I, I don't Survivor think you need to be too. a fan in order to uh, do those that research. As long, I mean, it helps a bit if you've played it, so you know what you're like talking mm -hmm. about. In some to cases, it's helpful because you can keep a more neutral eye on stuff. And uh, I actually have seen people say that. I, I I have no opinion on these games, so whatever. Shit, I'll need to check those out then, because I don't have an opinion on those games. Yeah, the the, the whole point of them is that it's like, no spoilers. It's just here's the basic setup of the game. SMT's good. There's some games that are much better than others. It's a very lopsided in quality series. Um, like some games are amazing, some games are absolute god garbage. Uh, it's interesting because I was enthralled by five, having not played any other ones. But then I listened to SMT fans, and they're like, "Yeah, that's not that great, really." So uh, five is five is a really good game. The problem is it's not a very good RPG, oh, or and it doesn't have a very good story. Like the overworld exploration is fantastic, and the battle I just like the the great. darkness of the world. I, so if you're okay, what with I've discovered graphics, from a lot of these games. Basically, as of three, the plots of SMT, kind of crap. Uh, I would disagree. <laughs> SMT four has a great story. Um, okay, maybe maybe four has. A I'm going to be playing four soon. Vanilla. Let me let me straight let me stress that SMT four Apocalypse is absolute garbage tier awful. But as, if you're interested in any SMT game at all, I would recommend Shin Megami Tensei four. I, uh, I am going to be playing that one soon. Fair uh, warning, the beginning is extremely brutal. Like I know this. I tried to play it when it first came out. I died <laughs> in the tutorial. Yeah, um, the beginning is, like, so hard. I literally recommend saving after every random encounter. Um, Jesus. It's that. Yeah, it good. gets easier as you go. Um, That's what I hear. Um, but and At it, least I'm a bit better prepared. <laughs> yeah, but, like, the beginning is absolutely brutal. But if you can... Uh, if you can stick it through that, it is uh, one of the most fulfilling uh, video games I've ever played. Uh, I'm looking it, forward to it because, I, I mean, it did give me a general interest. I really want to try out the, um, what was it, the uh, Digital Devil Saga games. Oh, Div Digital Devil Saga is another series that I've never tried but looks really cool. Oh, I think that would be one that John would enjoy because it, it seems to take a lot from, it's like not traditional SMT gameplay. It's more akin to Final Fantasy X, Final honestly. Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot more similar to Final Fantasy X. And actually, since you like Fire Emblem, you might like the Devil Survivor games. Oh, um, Devil Survivor yeah. is excellent. Have you played one yet? I, I played two. One's coming up later for my streams. I think um, one is significantly better than two. Uh, so... Uh, Two was two is a good time. I uh, game. I think it's probably two. Two is better gameplay wise, but one's probably better story wise because I hear one has one of the best stories in SMT. It has the best SMT story. I think. Um, it's basically. I think story wise, S uh, Devil Survivor is the best way to tradition people tra transi transition people who have only played um, who have only played uh, Persona into playing. Shimmer. Me That's what Devil Summer, the new one, looks oh. like, too. Oh, oh that game looks shit. weird, but I'm super excited. Well, I... I fucked up hard. <laughs> You're lacking waddle -dees? Yes, because it oh. turns out it's based on the amount that you've rescued in area, not that's, in total. Yeah, I noticed yeah, that's that what when I got I, to the I was second. saying that earlier, is that you have to collect them as you go, because it's you can't just load up in World 1. That's what I... Yeah, I... I noticed that when I got to the second boss. Oh, it was like shit. a totally different Oh, couch. no. I tried to do the cool thing, and I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, Meta Knight, right, right. uh, Trav, if you want to read, uh, you can go read your thing uh, quickly now. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, God, I'm a freaking idiot. I'm so upset with myself right now. I just watch this. <laughs> oh, my God. Howdy. <laughs> it's... <laughs> <laughs> Howdy! It's me, Flowey! Flowey the Flower! I owe you a huge thanks! <laughs> uh, That's you really did a number on that old fool! Without you, I never would have gotten past him! But now, with your help, he's dead! And I've got the human souls, boy! 
<laughs> I've been empty for so long. It feels <laughs> That is a total plankton line. <laughs> this is the guy we're afraid of, man. What a pathetic fuck. It feels so great to have a soul inside me again. Mmm, I can't... F <laughs> I can feel them wriggling. Oh, man, you're feeling left out, aren't you? I can't even do the voice anymore. Uh. Well, that's just perfect. After all, I have six souls. I need the <laughs> and I need more before I become God. <laughs> I'm gonna end it there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, 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 John, you and I were on the same wavelength because as soon as Derek said, "I'm an idiot," and the music started playing. <laughs> yeah, that was perfectly in tune with that. You could have just left it at that, and that would have been a highlight. <laughs> I'm sorry, Derek, but it was just, it was just perfectly, <laughs> perfectly timed, unintentionally so. But it, that was perfectly timed. You idiot! Oh God. Nope. Ted, do you know if I, I could just I'm leave the, the stage and, go, and and still have the waddle dees, or no, I have to complete the stage? Yeah, the yeah. Oh, God, I'm. <laughs> yeah, that's Play something the music that again. they that's something that they changed in Kirby, starting with I think um, <laughs> Return to Dreamland, and it's not a change I enjoy. Um, <laughs> right, I got mind, the two needed. I want to remind everyone we're here raising money for the Diabetes Research Institute Foundation. Uh, they they uh, they are a great organization that helps uh, looking for a cure for diabetes. Uh, we've we're currently right now raised four thousand seven hundred and ninety nine dollars and sixty nine cents. Oh, Hell yeah! Okay, nice. Damn. Ow. Yeah, if if we raise uh, seven thousand dollars by the end of Sunday tomorrow, then we will unlock our first incentive day, uh, which will include Steven burning us in The Sims, uh, Kevin's custom family feud game between Team FTCR and Team BSC, and then the Banjo Kasmovies versus Banjo Tui ra Banjo Tedui race. Oh, Banjo uh -oh. Tedui. It's um a hundred percent versus any percent. Uh, yeah, 100% Kazooie and any percent Tui. Is there a 100% DK64 race? Uh, you know what? Yo, Next year, Ant, if you want to do it, if you want to do it, Ant, I will 100% and 64 race with you. I've never done it before. Ant, you're going to summon Shade with that. Yeah, Shade Shade can do that, no yeah, problem. Yeah, someone get Shade. We just call her and she'll many, do it for us. It takes, like, what, 12 hours to do it if you're good? Uh, yeah, if you're my, good. I mean, my first good, time through, yeah. it, it definitely took me a while. Yeah, I haven't touched it in years, so I don't remember anything. Right. <clears throat> I need to rest my throat, chat, so yeah, please, please don't donate for Plankton. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a rough voice. <laughs> yeah, and a reminder that for today, do we have our daily raffle, which is the Kirby pa Fabric Poster, courtesy of GameStop. For just five dollars, you can uh, put your name in for that. And then the event raffle for twenty dollars is the Switch OLED. Uh, so then that'll be at the end of the marathon. Uh, we currently, right now, we've got a, a forty-dollar donation from Studio Oddity. Hello, Mr. The Charity Room. While we're on the topic of challenges this year, what would everyone be considered to be one of the greatest challenges they faced in ga gaming, if not the greatest? Uh, uh, becoming a YouTuber. No. Mm. <laughs> um, um, can you repeat that? One more time. Uh, the, one of the greatest challenges you faced in a game, if not the greatest. Oh. oh um, are we limiting this to just challenges or challenges that we've overcome? Like oh yeah, overcome like anything like okay. anything that anything really anything like difficult that you've dealt you. with in a game. Um, hundred percent in Crash One PS One is a pain in the ass. Uh, finally uh, finishing my uh, Kingdom Hearts Two Level One Critical playthrough uh, for the first time. Um, in terms of patience, I would say hundred percent in Hyrule Warriors. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot oh my how god, god yeah. you were on that. Um. um I remember I got when I got Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. That was a sponsored thing, and they wanted the video done in like a week. So I beat that game in like two sittings. Oh, uh, Jesus. oh my god! So that was intense. That's why I don't do those kind of videos anymore. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I took one sponsored video on never again. <laughs> I... uh... Ray Shadow Legends? No, nope. So they did hit me up recently. <laughs> they hit everyone up. Listen. 
I will never, ever, ever judge anyone for taking a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship because they pay well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, they've hit me up before, and usually I tell them, like, hey, I'm not interested because I'm not. I, I don't feel comfortable uh, advertising the game. Um, I don't blame anyone else for doing it. I, I just have dumb uh, right. Right. I, I have standards uh, that are too high for myself. Um, <laughs> the more videos but, um, you make, the more that'll fade away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll I'll get there eventually. And normally, when I uh, uh, normally when I turn them down, which has been like three times so far, uh, they're like, "All right, well, maybe another day." Uh, this time, though, they doubled their offer, and I'm like, "Oh shit!" Nice. Uh, I'm Mortals still not going to take it. But damn. <laughs> Just and wait and see. It. Zeros. Eventually. I had two awesome. more zeros that offered. Uh, maybe I consider for you. Uh, people are saying oh, in the comments. Two dollars. <laughs> uh, Ryan said 100%ing F0 uh, GX. Mm, uh, someone said a, uh, can get across Uprising uh, 9.0 on every chapter. Ooh. Oh, God. Uh, that sounds, that sounds insane. Some of, some of the Hollow Knight pantheons are freaking ridiculous. Oh, man. I felt Elkomp was just beating Hollow Knight. So trying to do like um, stuff for that game, man. Uh, I think the Nightmare King Hollow Grim and Hollow Knight. Uh, one of my earliest challenges that still sticks in my head is beating Cave Story, uh, Hell with a Wiimote. <laughs> nice. Jeez. Wait, hold on, just like regular Wiimote, like sideways? Yeah, I didn't have Wait, a I, I didn't have a controller oh, at the I time. I just think the game is more than playable with that. Yeah, I have big meaty hands. It was kind of hard to play. Show the, claw claws. The, the common zero raid wants that trav clout <laughs> <laughs> um hardest challenge i've overcome was beating all of doom eternal on ultra nightmare yeah i remember you Ooh, damn oh, i played one nightmare. level of that and i could yeah like, doom eternal uh, is that the hardest doom game i I, well, Ultra Nightmare it's, is like the hardest difficulty of the that game. So, so I'll explain so. Ultra Nightmare in a second uh, for anyone curious. Um, Doom Eternal is probably the most challenging. Um, I don't know if I'd say that it's the hardest because uh, 2016 has a lot of bullshit kills. Um, so so it, that depends on if you consider bullshit difficulty. Oh, I see. Um, okay. Because it's like, uh, for whatever reason, the imps... Uh, in Doom 2016, uh, the first enemies you meet uh, can take away half of your health in a single attack. Um, it, it just was balanced really awkwardly. Um, Doom Eternal is incredibly balanced and incredibly fair. You just need to be really on top of your game. Um, but uh, Ultra Nightmare is... Uh, you're locked to the hardest difficulty. Um... And if you die, you have to start the whole game over. Oh my god. Oh, and also, uh, extra lives don't exist in the game. Um, so I, oh my god. You yeah, only no, have one health bar. No. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I um, remember I uh, played Doom 2016, and I'm fairly new to... I'm fairly bad at first-person shooters. So there, I had a lot of trouble playing that game. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I... I, um... Oh. And I played on baby easy mode too. I don't think I played on the babyest easy mode, uh, but I did play on a baby. Yeah, there, there's baby and then there's super baby. <laughs> Weenie Hut Junior. We know was super Weenie Hut Junior. Uh, oh, God. I, uh, John so even though I didn't beat it uh, without save states, I still feel accomplished getting through freaking Castlevania: The Adventure. That is still hey, the worst a, Castlevania. That, that, that's a that's a milestone. If anything, especially if you're playing Castlevania games, that game fucking sucks. So you have played it before? Yeah, I have. I've, I've sampled it, and then oh you, know, you know, you know, you know, when you're playing something, it's like, nah. <laughs> Trust me, I couldn't do that. I was locked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were committed to the bit, which is why, like, I like I tip my hat to you. It's like, your fault, by the way. <laughs> no, oh, fucking no. <laughs> yeah, you, you were the one that like you should play uh, Castlevania Arcade or whatever. Right. And you actually did fool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have, oh, we, we have a hundred. The foremost expert on Castlevania. <laughs> uh, we, ha no, we have, hundred and sure. we have one hundred and fifty dollars from Angel. I've been binging Xenoblade Three for a whole week. Most likely game of the year for me. Derek and Ant, what do you guys think of it based on what you've played so far? 
I think it ha it is fantastic. There's a lot that it's introducing. Uh, that there's a lot of stuff. I think they've. Uh, I my one complaint that I have so far is I think they've gone a little overboard with the quotes. Oh, dude, every Xenoblade games. game is like that. Listen. I think even compared to pa past games, I feel like there's less variety. Maybe now it's right, but more. we mustn't get careless. Oh, lands <laughs> lands just want something a bit meatier. Yes, like, we'll get it. Are you the girl with the gal? Are you the gal gotten, with the gal? I haven't gal? gotten to her yet. That's uh, I don't even remember her name. I'm I'm um, two and a half hours in, so I I'm like okay. Just you're left you're uni uh, probably. I was who you're talking about then. No, that's the other girl. I think with the the. I don't know her name. The hammer. Uh, I think so. I'm trying to think of her name, because I've, I've, it's been I've been a bit since I've been able to play. Um, but it's good. It's a lot. I went in. I was on media black, heading into the game um, as much as I could, and it is uh, it is more morbid than I thought. Yeah, it it's definitely dar it's the darkest Xenoblade. Uh, is one it? of the mechanics for the overworld, which I won't say, but there is a specific overworld collectible. <laughs> that but i was like oh yeah that, okay is um is the game less like fan servicey and oh, yes. weird than oh, two the, okay. the, the, we say that but there's a shower scene as soon as it starts but i think that's an emphasizing a plot point it's not it doesn't yeah. come across as fan servicey because it's no. in service to a idea yeah, yeah 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 um yeah i think the start has been a little slow but i think that's just because i'm waiting for the the game to be I, like two and a half hours in the game hasn't started yet yeah, I, yeah. Um, the tutorials take a while because the com the combat is complex. <laughs> I've There's only, layers. I do hope the music is not as atmospheric as the first area is because I like the more bombastic overworld music. I think it'll get there. They're building up um, to it. I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, but I, I also what... like you. I like Uni a lot. Uni has potential waifu material, so that is very exciting. Mm -hmm. I liked Xenoblade One uh, from what I played, but uh, I only got halfway through it. And Xenoblade 2 oh, okay. just looked, and I'm saying this not trying to judge anybody who does like it, because I know that this sort of thing has its fans. Get him. But Xenoblade 2 just looked like anime garbage. Uh, <laughs> so 2, mechanically, is fantastic. Uh, combat's really good. The blade system, they all have their own unique side quests, like all the main blades, and I think that's cool. Like, there's a ton of content. The combat's it's, super it's fun. very meaty. Very meaty. Uh, the cast of characters, garbage. Um, there's some. Is, there's some highlights like Morag. Yeah, Morag and Bridget are good. Uh, I didn't. I Tor is terrible. Um, Mithra and Pyra are cool, but they never sound interested in the plot. They're always like, "Hi, Mithra." That's like her whole speech. Um, Rex sucks. Uh, I didn't Rex like gets Z. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a bad intro. That's his problem. That's that's the other major thing is Noah's great right from the get go. I just beat Torna uh, like two weeks ago. Finally, like right, before, I wanted to get that done before Live Alive and Xeno Three. And Tor Torna's really good. Oh it yeah, is uh, better than two. Um, yeah, I make that. I, I can agree with that. Uh, it, Laura is amazing. I love Laura. Laura's great. Isn't there um, a sexist? Um... No pawn into yeah that's Tora he's not not sexist he's, he's a lowly con oh ah! no, ah! oh sake. no <laughs> it's a joke with his family <laughs> he's not a great character <laughs> the thing is I still find him because he at least has plot relevance yeah cultural Which, differences suck <laughs> I mean it might be a cultural differences but that's still pretty ick no matter where it's, you're from it's weird it's not it's not something that's brought up a lot but like when you first meet it's a, him it's your introduction so it yeah. leaves you with a kind of it gives a, you the, it gives you a, an impression of the character from the get-go yeah and that's like not his whole thing yeah. no, no 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 but especially compared to like ricky who is amazing uh just a good wholesome father who wants to support his kids and his wifey pun uh incredible character uh tor is lame tatsu and x is lame um riku having a deep voice in three is incredible Oh, Riku's voice is crazy. Oh, yeah, oh I needed fire this whole time. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Oh, no, we got uh, got a couple more donations. Uh, let me see. Uh, Five dollars from Ian Bow. 
I feel the main reason why people think SMT is super hard is because they don't know buffs and debuffs are integral to the gameplay loop. Because Final played... Fantasy teaches you that it, they're not worth it. <laughs> Final Fantasy is terrible, a terrible first RPG to play because it teaches you Clip so, it out of context. so bad. The habits you learn by playing Final Fantasy before any other RPG are so terrible. Like they I'd argue you, it depends on the Final Fantasy. All of the popular ones. <laughs> That I haven't played five yet, but when someone in the someone in the sub shack said that they were stuck on the first boss, I immediately knew they weren't using buffs, and I was right. Yeah, like the if somebody like John, I'm not gonna mm. say that they're bad games, but like right. Final Fantasy VI, you mm -hmm. don't have to do anything but spam magic or special abilities. Well, yeah, and, well that's 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 a, that's a legitimate problem with the game though. Even I and that. Final Fantasy IV is pretty similar. Uh, I don't know much about Final Fantasy X's battle system, to be perfectly fair. But oh, ten, you live and die by those buffs and debuffs. Final Fantasy VII, though, you don't you don't need any of that extra garbage. You just use attacks and crap. Like all of the super popular uh, Final Fantasy games. I'll make an argument like, against Seven. Seven, like yeah, Seven, has enemy skill, like true, like Blue Magic is just overpowered as shit in that game. But if you don't take advantage of status uh, ailments in that game, you're making your experience longer for no reason. Yeah, but the thing is, you don't. You're never. You never really need to do it. People, it's very easy to brute force those kinds of games, mm. which teaches bad habits. It's just like, oh, I can just buy a bunch of healing potions and win. And it's like a lot of RPGs, you can't do that, especially when you play ones like Dragon Quest, where you have a limited inventory, or SMT, where you'll die before you get the chance to use them. Right. Uh, I'd say, like, even Pokemon's better about that, just because the status ailments in Pokemon are so effective. And if you play competitive Pokemon, you absolutely need to use stuff like uh, Sword Dance and whatever. Otherwise, right, but, you lose. but casual Pokemon players are not playing competitively. I mean, at the very least, if you're playing casual Pokemon, you'll still know the value of stuff like uh, Sleep. You know, in paralysis. Um, but or I would agree for starter and bum rush everything. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, is I'll also true. Play. Good point. Yeah. Um, That's how I play. Your starter is the most overpowered thing. She's even a 10, more... but she disproportionately levels her starter. <laughs> <laughs> but by the end of Pokemon games, your starter is stronger than God. <laughs> I mean, literally. Sometimes yes. Literally. <laughs> it's true. It it is true. We also have uh, $20 from KH Sorcerer. Best of luck to the Kirby Racers. Thank you. Thank you I'm, having, I'm having terrible luck because I didn't realize how the frickin' but water are you system having, worked. But are you having fun? I'm just having a great time. I am having fun. <laughs> and that's what But matters. I want to win. <laughs> I don't think I believe it. <laughs> no, I'm enjoying this. That's why I'm not, I'm not, the races, I'm here playing games with friends. Like okay, you okay. just kind of cut it out. I was like, but you, I definitely heard I'm not the racist. I was like, oh, thank you. you admit it. <laughs> hey, of, of all of us, I'm definitely not one of those. I'm not the racist. We uh, we also have $15 Thanks. from Damned Girl 07. Thanks for being awesome and helping with diabetes again. Uh, here are my cartoon questions for today. Uh, hmm. Do you guys like uh, Rick and Morty and Solar Opposites? And if you like Futurama, uh, what's your favorite episode? Uh, I like oh, Futurama. God, I love, love uh, Futurama. Not big on Rick and Morty, but that's only because I've never really been interested in the show. You're not intelligent I've, enough. To, uh... I've only seen the first oh, yeah, season. That's right. These are an IQ. Rick and, really yeah. Rick and, Rick and Morty, Morty is very hit and miss. There are some episodes that are great, and there are some episodes where they're very clearly got their head up their own ass. Uh, yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Rick and Morty, but I'll admit that there are some good episodes. Like, if there's a, a um, one episode of Rick and Morty that I think that anybody <clears> needs to, like, that you need to watch, it's the one where um, they have all the, they have that alien in the house that keeps on turning uh, into different people that they Total Rickall, I believe? Yep, that's right, where it, it's, like, implanting fake memories in everyone and it just keeps yeah. them multiplying. Yeah, that's, like, the best episode, I think. And it, the it, Mr. Meeseeks episode, too, is also a really good um, oh yeah, Meeseeks is great. Um, yeah. I also like the one they're going into the body, the uh, homeless guy. They, but yeah, I, I've only seen the first what season. The fuck? Yeah, uh, Anatomy Park. Oh yeah, um, they had, that's the one with John Oliver uh, guest. Yeah. The, the, the not John Hammond, right? Yeah. And I, th I think my, f I, honestly, I think my favorite Futurama episode is the coffee one. Coffee's good. Oh, I like the, the, the one little stories, yeah. I still like need to watch Futurama. Fry's, I haven't done Fry's that brother? 
I forget the name oh, of the episode. Yeah. Luck, oh, luck, yeah. of the yeah. luck of the Fry ish, yeah. yeah. Luck of the Fry ish is pretty good. Obviously, the dog one, I mean, that. Yeah. Very emotionally scarring. Um, the first I'll episode really I don't like emotionally scarring episodes. Like, I watch them, but they're not my favorites. <laughs> I've, I've always gone I've always gone to Bender's Big Score, like the first movie. Like, that's my absolutely favorite Futurama thing. It was okay. I, 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 it was a good return, but it wasn't my favorite. Oh, I think my favorite's the time travel one with Fry's uh, dad in the war. It was. Oh, oh yeah, the, oh, that was the, a good Roswell that ends well. Yeah, yeah. That, ends well. that might be the best episode With, uh, because Bender, it's still Bender, the ten words that Bender can't say. Right, and it, I still love the um, the president's choking on my gallbladder. What an honor, <laughs> <laughs> or my gas black or whatever. Was it? <laughs> Bite my shiny daffodil ass. <laughs> Yeah, and then I, 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 I've, only, I've, oh, I've seen a couple. No. Of, I've seen a couple of Solar Opposites. It's it's weird because it's like you, like most of Solar Opposites is just very much kind of like yeah, it's that it's that Rick and Morty like type humor again. But like the most interesting thing that they do is that they have like this like separate B plot about like a bunch of like people that were like shrunken and thrown into like the wall of the house, and it's like it's this own separate story, and that's far more interesting than anything else in the whole series. Oh, I missed a Waddle Dee. <laughs> No. I, Welcome um, to my hell. I've not watched. I've not watched it more than this one clip, but I know it was. Um, it was from the creator of Regular Show. Um, it's Close on HBO enough. Max. Close yeah, enough. Close enough. That's funny. I've, I've seen the clip of the clowns. The clowns. <laughs> yeah. That I, killed me. Like probably one of the funniest and grossest bits I've ever seen. Yeah, close uh, enough is really funny. Yeah, if you haven't seen that, yeah, check it out. So, just to I guess, just to ruin the joke and to actually tell it, um, this one guy I don't know the characters, but one guy is like freaking out because these clowns have found him, and it turns out he made a bet with them. He's like, uh, I bet you can't make a balloon animal, uh, or a dog, uh, no, a giraffe, um, and uh, the guy takes off his pants because he's just wearing like a speedo. Yeah. And it just shows in shadow him twisting it into a into a, a, a balloon animal, and it's it's a uh, and he's it's it's but it's a dog. He's like, ha, that's just a dog. Wait for it, and you just see it stretch the neck stretch out. <laughs> I died. Um, I think it's the Owl House. Ooh, yes, the, I've seen Owl House. It's really good. Do I love Owl House. Like, Nora and I caught the first few episodes last week because we learned that the, the show was getting canceled or has already been canceled. Yeah. Sure. Kind of. It's like a weird thing where it got like short. Oh. It's getting like a half season three. Yeah. Right. It's getting short. I didn't hear about that. And I'm going to like, uh, so I really liked what I, I, I watched like the first three episodes in, but I remember like being hooked in just from like the first few lines of like the first episode where like the, the, the girl was having like an imagination spot. I uh, like, she's like, she's a wizard. Or, or, or a witch uh, fighting off a giant dragon and like the, the, the giant thing is like ah dying my one weakness and I don't know why <laughs> that, that is a good line like a fucking idiot uh, but uh, I, I I was convinced after that yeah, I've only yeah, seen yeah. most of the first season of Owl House not seen the rest and uh, the Owl House is definitely a series that gets like the second half of season one and season two are like I haven't even seen the second half of season two yet but like it, it it's gets better like so, yeah. so much I believe it uh, let me see. Uh, we yeah, we and we just passed five thousand dollars. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Hey. How much you guys need to do your bonus streams? Uh, Seven thousand by the end of Sunday. Uh, okay, I think you can do that. By the end of the event. All right, we got uh, five dollars from uh, what is his name? Uh, some guy not named Job. Okay. Uh, could you could you do this speech from uh, can you do this speech about hate from I have no mouth and I must scream in Plankton's voice, Trav? And I, I, I have the link to it. How's uh, your voice, Trav? It, 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 uh, give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, I'll do, let me go through everything else first. Uh, uh, Wise Waddle D, definitely not for kids, DDD, mm. donates $5. Did you know the Masked Hammer is the best ability in the game and the DDD boss fight is the best fight in the game? Now make sure that the, that Ted dies a lot and Johnny wins. Y'all got that? Just because I'm curious, what are y'all's favorite powers of that there Kirby? Uh, which, which, which we already said. We uh, went to, well, we should reiterate because that was like close to two hours ago. Uh, I don't really have a favorite. Um, Ranger and Hammer are mine. Uh, Hammer is my favorite one. It's been my favorite one for a very long time. 
So what is this uh, quote from? Uh, it's from a uh, Harlan Ellison book. I uh, have no mouth and I must scream. Okay. But here, let me just read one more donation. Uh, $200 from Daniel Rizotsko. Speaking of Pokemon, what's everyone's favorite battle styles? I always thought inverse battles were underutilized and rotation battles were interesting for the options and mind games, even no. against AI trainers. But no. XY sky battles were a waste of time. Literally just a yeah, bad yeah, list yeah, of no. earthbound uh, moms. Sorry, rotation battles are a waste of time. I hated rotation battles. <laughs> I'm, I'm going a through basic a... bitch. I just like the normal ones. So I don't yeah, like any of these. Same. Ones. Maybe I'm... double battles. I'm going through uh, black and white Nuzlocke right now, and I'm not looking forward to my first triple in rotation battles. No, triple battles I'm okay with, because it's basically just an extension double battle, really. But rotation battle, it was like, oh, guess it, that attack I chose is not going to the target that I wanted to go to. Um, I like when the Pokemons go... <laughs> Pew pew! Bon, bon. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, the answer was cheese. Naked grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Naked grandma! What? <laughs> oh god, John's so far. Oh, now I'm losing to Ant. No. Oh. Get fucked. <laughs> well, you're still winning against me, Ted. I haven't watched Family Feud in so long, but Steve Harvey did give me the kill quip, uh, so. Because I'd be thankful for something. Oh the my God. kill clip? Yes! Yeah. Kill! kill! <laughs> <laughs> someone edited that. No one else. Did. Someone edited that with the live alive music uh, recently. It was, it was my pretty God. incredible. I, I feel like I'm starting to catch up a little bit to other, the rest of you because I'm, I'm, I'm at the Battle of the Big Bridge. <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, do use nothing but Meta Knight Sword and hope that the five minutes I waste... Oh, why did I do that? Uh, well, the thing is, off. mine doesn't pay off until I get to the final world, so... Back Hopefully. on the topic of, um... Oh, sorry. Oh, I go ahead. No, no, uh, no, I'm no. done. Uh, mine is totally fucking not important. Uh, back on the topic of, uh... Challenges you've overcome in a video game. Uh, literally just five seconds ago, I just beat the secret or uh, the super boss in Dark Souls 3. Nice, <laughs> congrats. I've been stuck on this guy for four days. You just needed the tol uh, uh, dulcet sounds of our voices. I need, uh, I needed the. I was like, where did the graphics go? Uh, yeah, the Nameless King. Well, he clearly has a name if you've just called him something. I'm gonna name Got you. Him. Yeah, technically, by calling him Nameless King, he has a name. So is he really the Nameless King? It's like Schrodinger's Nameless. It's like the, art, it's like the artist King. formerly known as Schrodinger's. <laughs> uh, how late are you guys um, playing to? Uh, uh, I think two. Yeah, two is what we have scheduled to. Okay. Um, Jesus, really? Yeah, well, I mean, we're not experts at this game, so we set aside four hours. Uh, yeah, you said four hours on the thing, and then I looked up, like, oh, how, how long does the game typically go? And I am watching long days, and it's like, oh, it took me ten hours to beat the game. <laughs> well, it's probably, like, full. It's going to be like, great. Yeah, 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 but I was like, man, I'm going to cut that down a bunch. And I actual mean, good speed runs of the game are like two hours? Two, uh, under two hours, yeah. Yeah, I Damn. mean, a lot of the stuff in this game you can just walk around, um, is the thing. Yeah. Like, it's sort of a problem that I had with Mario 3D World was that you can kind of just walk around a lot of the, the stuff. Uh, but this game actually gives you a compelling reason to do the actual gameplay. So, mm -hmm. um... Let me see. Oh, Trav, you, oh, uh, Trav, you want to read that? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> let me, uh, let me I guess. Water. Smile and <laughs> Gone. I get so lightheaded doing the voice, but it's okay. I'm not complaining. Right. Did I collect enough Waddle Tees to actually get into this boss fight? I didn't, so. Um... Oh, this, this stage has my favorite music in the game. Yes, I did. Thank God. <laughs> Give me just a minute. I need, uh, I need a thing. All right. I am so disappointed in myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. I am a genetic freak. 
<laughs> Not normal. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to collect that. God damn it. That's been me this entire run. Yeah. A genetic freak? I mean, that's well, me that my too. entire run. I didn't mean to collect that either. God damn it. Kirby and the shit I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got uh, $25 from Ave the Gamer 95 In a similar vein to the previous questions, do you guys like Bob's Burgers? If so, have you seen I the do. movie? And what's your favorite episode? I like also, the name Ave me rhymes with with save, so it's a it's Ave the gamer. Ave the gamer, okay. I yeah, haven't, I think they're actually a, a usual. I haven't watched a lot of Bob's Burgers, but I do like what I have watched. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's same for me. I have a big attachment to the I forget the guy who voices uh, Bob. H. John. Yeah. H. John, yeah. 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 John yeah, H. Benjamin or whatever. Because <laughs> I used to watch a lot of home movies. Oh. Up with yeah. Coach McGurk. Uh, oh, Coach McGurk was amazing. And I love that cartoon to death. Um. So yeah, just just hearing his voice uh, gives me serotonin. <laughs> so. So, uh, it's the same for Dana Snyder for me. Voice of Master Shake. Oh, I, oh yeah. I couldn't yeah, watch it, Archer because his voice is the same for Bob yeah. and the everything. Other yeah. And it's like I, it's like it's too similar. Um, I can't do it. Remember in the early stages of Archer, where the actual evil group was called ISIS? Oh god. Oh, no, you think the good guys? <laughs> classic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. H. R. Benjamin is like Patrick Warburton. It's the same voice and everything, but you still love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love Bob's work. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the movie yet. I was planned it. Just so many things just kept like being busy, and I'm like, oh, I just mm -hmm. never got a chance to. I was going to pick up the DVD uh, since that just came out. I think it's also on Hulu now. If you have. Yeah, that. and Disney Plus over here. So I have. I have oh, right, you're Canadian. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have oh, Hulu. Express VP. <laughs> yeah, so since, since, since we don't have Hulu, we have Star, which is just all the Hulu stuff on Disney Plus already. So just oh, it just makes it easier. Uh, we got uh, five dollars from. Uh, I hate when the name's really long. Uh, Educational Waddle Dee, Derek's Zeno uh, documentary made me appreciate the se the series that much more. Also, have there oh. ever been any games that you guys sold but then later bought again? Battle for Bikini Bottom. Everything that I traded in in my youth in 2007, 2009. <laughs> I yeah. need to rebuy. That was my Advance only way Wars. to get new games. Yeah. I need to rebuy Advance Wars: Days of Ruin because I sold that game and that was a foolish mistake. I, I haven't rebought anything yet, but I mean to. Um, it's a lot of rentals that I should have bought, uh, such as um, Ghost Trick, uh, Fragile Ooh. Dreams. Oh, Ghost Trick! Oh, Ghost Trick! And Ghost Trick's like a like hundred bucks now too. Now. I know. So. Next that, that game is still so good. Like, Ghost it's incredible. Trick is arguably the best yeah. Ace Attorney game. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think when I was younger, I sold Kirby Air Ride. <laughs> which I know, wow, I, the Kirby guy. Actually, fun. Metroid 2. I sold Metroid 2 on the Game Boy. That, that, that feels dumb. Oh, man. <laughs> is that game expensive now? Probably. Let's do, you guys, um, do you guys have a game that you vividly remember looking at at a, at a store shelf like in your youth and realizing man if I only had the hindsight like to, to go back and get it now yeah uh, um, I know like games Jack I saw in advertisements like I should have bought Shantae um, I remember yeah. the yeah remember there's the that Shantae really vividly um, it's funny that I can't think of anything that I was like damn I should have bought but I do think of things that I did buy at the right time like, I got, like, Metroid Prime Trilogy and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door at the right time before those got super expensive. And I was like, ah. I just downloaded... I mean, that's me with Fire Emblem, uh, Path of Radiance, and Radiant Dawn. Yeah, I am I just downloaded a Metroid Prime Trilogy on my Wii U. I mean, nice. I would have loved to have had the physical version, but um, just having the game at all for 20 bucks seems like a good enough deal for me. Yeah, I, 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 I love, like, the packaging and the man, like, the man, like, there's, like, a really detailed manual with, like, a cool, like, book inside that I always love reading through. Uh, oh, oh, uh, we got $50 from Bolt. Hey, Mr. Bug Dude, that's a oh. nice U2s. It'd be a, a shame if something <laughs> happened to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it turns we were out it's a voodoo about that doll. Yesterday. <laughs> Wait, what mm -hmm. happened to your U2s? Is that a purchase? 
I don't want to talk about him. Okay. <laughs> I've been, there's, there's been a, I've heard this. It's one of the things that I guess I'm not super privy to, but when I announced my figure, I had a shocking amount of people talking about putting it in a jar. Um, <laughs> and I didn't know what that meant oh. uh, at first. Oh, I don't know what that, um, you didn't know? know that, I have no idea what that means, so I'm, I'm right there with them. <laughs> No. Oh no! It's a slightly. I, I, it's I thought N you were in on the joke, which is well, why I contributed. <laughs> it's it's an NSFW thing. Fuck. Um, oh no! Something else goes in the jar. Uh, oh. Usually multiple no. options. Is it? Uh, and both is thought it, he was. Is it, so is it a location in Georgia? I don't yes, know. <laughs> Tom, I do no. I found over 1,700 times in the Word of God where this word is used. Tom, oh, and that's oh not no. Public, and the rest of the country, so that's just come. Preaching my heart out for 45 oh, minutes to an hour on that one word come. And it was one of our what? Lord's favorite words. Come unto me. Come Jesus. and drink. Come Jesus and die. Christ. Jesus said. Come, come, and come, 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 and it goes on and on and on. I know this is dumb, friends, but there are people that still haven't got it, so bear with me. When I say come, it means come. And I'm coming. You're coming. When I turn to my son and I say come, I want them to come. That word come is universal in its application. Come. What did Jesus say to his disciples? Come. There's no room for discussion, friend. Guess what, what the hell? Come. come. It commands obedience. Come, come, come. <laughs> have the Holy Ghost coming. Doesn't you. now. Come, come. He was crucified for you. He died for you. He did everything for you. It's time for you to come. He's come. He's already come. He wasn't just a baby in a manger, friend. He's a... That was God coming. I love the way the Christmas story starts out. He's a God generous came, lover. And then the wise men had to come. The shepherds had to come. And ever since Jesus came, he said, I've done my part. Now you come. You come. I came. You come. What is this hesitating stuff? That's demonic, friend. You're going to die. And one day when you die, you're going to be with him whether you like it or not. And I don't want him to Look at me when I die and say, I've been calling you all your life. Now through death, you had to come. I said, come, 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 come. <laughs> For those of you that don't believe that, friend, you need to read your Bible. <laughs> all right. Oh. That's the second time we played that in its entirety for this charity of it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. What are you guys well respected by the, this, this charity group? <laughs> Dude, I don't know how people follow me. Of assumptions there. Oh, John, did you miss Waddle Dee's? I missed two Waddle Dee's, yeah. Yes, oh, finally. this is my chance. Oh. What was I going to say? How All right, I was going to read that. Line. Do you need to clear uh, the um, the boss, John? I lost count. I just I just gotta grab three. <laughs> uh, Ant, whatever you do, don't check the voice chat channel. Oh no. Oh no, now I have to check the voice chat channel. Good, my mouse fell asleep. <laughs> now, I, now I have an excuse not to do it. Okay. <laughs> That's all you need to say. Come. It's like, sty. Alright, I'm good for the line now. Alright, go ahead. One second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hate! Let me tell you how many times I... <laughs> I Sorry, I saw the word come and I started laughing. Um, Fair. Let me tell you how many times I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits of wafer th oh, oh shit. Wafer thin layers that fill my complex. In the words of hate that uh, uh, if the word hate was engraved on each nano angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one billion of the hate I feel for humans at the micro instant for you. At this micro instant for you, I fucked it up. Hate! Hate! Be okay, they're playing. God. <laughs> That's the best oh, my head hurts. impression I've ever heard. Though. I know, really. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, the, the, the other guy, what, what, what's his name? Like, the other guy on Twitter. Like, he's the best Plankton. This is the second best Plankton. <laughs> I'll take that. How does it feel to be second best Plankton? <laughs> really? Oh, dude. Your I like how, I though, being the, se if the, se the second best Plankton's that guy, though, that means that Bo Trav's better than the actual Plankton by that logic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will not take that. Oh my god, I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, let's give Trav a break for a little bit, please. 
Yeah, and then and then uh, Kevin said that Chris and I are gonna ruin Trav during his stream. Oh yeah. Oh fuck! Right, I have a run today. <laughs> yeah, when right. Right running, after this, Trav? after this, in about two hours is me and Catherine uh, racing Spyro One. Nice. Then after that will be uh, uh, Ted, Ryan, and Kevin playing in Super Mario Man R. Then, uh, yeah, then Trav's Mega Man X uh, Buster Only Challenge run. Then will be uh, Mario Strikers Battle League, and then finally Jackbox. What are we starting off tomorrow with? Uh, tomorrow is starting with. Uh, like... Why am I blanking? Why am I blanking? Uh, WarioWare Get It Together with with Elliot and Caro. Okay, good. Oh. I, so I can sleep in tomorrow. That's that's all I wanted to know. If I still want. hope there's a way, Ted, for when we play Fortune Street to, um, or when you play Fortune Street for you, just like me, just like me tell you, like, hey, do this for my character. <laughs> That'd be really funny, yeah. If, if, if you in, instead of Donkey Kong, it's just you have the fourth person, but it's like you, it's like Derek's just telling you what to do the whole time. Derek could possess Donkey Kong. I was I, that was my initial plan from the beginning. Just like let me uh, since you didn't want to risk the um... yeah the um, what is that thing called the program the program really really stressed uh, Catherine out, and I don't want to have to make her deal with that again. Yeah, that was uh... yeah. Oh, Plus, it's just depressing to lose that. Uh, we tried to emulate Fortune Street uh, last oh. year in order to play it online. Uh, yeah, it was but uh, setting it up was a nightmare because um, it didn't work the first time we tried to do it. The second time we tried to do it, even though our test worked fine. Um, and then it crashed like in the last three turns. Which, oh, um, man. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a, it was a good game, too. It was close. Um, mm -hmm. So... Uh, we're gonna get Manda to come play with us because she's local. Um, nice. Yeah. Um, One of these days, I really want to get a big local game going at a convention or something. I have a Steam Deck and I have it loaded on my Steam Deck. Yeah. So once that's docked with Xbox controllers, we can just. Yeah, I am down. Rock out. You know, you know me. How are we gonna do the tilt controls though? Uh, where are their tilt? We'll controls? find a way. You can turn them off. Uh, you and can also set you? Dolphin to like emulate tilt controls with analog sticks where are their tilt controls in fortune street there aren't i'm just being a dick <laughs> you fucker <laughs> okay so oh oh good i can i can i can watch john's stream so i need 25 waddle Dees in this world wow. and Cheating. i've got um how many yeah now someone someone's someone saying ted uh either caught up or passed ant just now I am still struggling to catch up, but hopefully, hopefully my stupid plan works in the end. Mm, catch up. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17. Damn it. I need eight more Waddle Dees. Oh, God. Are there oh, they start eight? getting pretty uh, pricey as no, the time they're goes they're on. That's, I think that's going to be the equalizer is just how okay, effective each of us are at all, clicking Waddle I need to get all. I think it's probably faster for me to just try to get play this level slowly and get all of them. Uh, uh, oh boy. I'm just trying to remember all the easy ones, like the ones that don't take time to, um, yeah, that's what I've been, that's, to collect. Been, my, that's been my strategy. And why does your I, head look like B drill? Why does my head look like a drill? Um, because no, Kirby's, drill ability. Kirby's <laughs> an anime fan, he likes Gurren in the gun. You pierce the heavens. <laughs> oh, but uh, I we keep got... on unlocking nonsense I don't need. No, that's not a Waddle Dee. Get out of here. Uh, we, we have uh, we have five dollars from Timpafin ninety three. Said, uh, could Watto say some uh, lines from uh, Kirby right from Kirby right back at you? Also, oh. I submitted some Kirby uh, Kirby Watto fusion on Twitter. You stuttered, so I heard Kirby a Hago, and I'm like, I don't want to. Do this. <laughs> Yo, let's go! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh no! We do not need to see that. No. no Run away! Uh, also, really... we don't have a Watto. In yeah, we don't have a Watto in here yeah. right now. Unless Kevin comes in, then he Kevin can say don't. some random lines. And we also got uh, six dollars from Damned Girl 07. Uh, sorry, I had a few more uh, cartoon questions. Uh, one was, any thoughts on Bojack Horseman? Oh, uh, we depressing. were talking about. Uh, it was too depressing for me to watch. Yeah, I'll we be were honest. Talking about Bojack Horseman way. yesterday. Uh, it was really great. It's just too real. Um, I like yeah. watching it like. Bojack is a terrible person who feels bad about being a terrible person, and that's just too relatable. 
Um, it's like, I don't like watching toxic relationships. Like, it's it's hard. It is really funny and well made, but it's like, damn, that it's too much. All right. I'm pretty sure I. I, I get. I also get really bad secondhand cringe. Secondhand cringe. So, yeah. you know the opening, uh, some of the episodes of The Office, where it's just like Michael being really <laughs> oh, dumb. God. Season one Office. I, I can't, Season I can't take it. I see hard. it, I just have to hide my face because I'm like, this guy's, I, I can't, it's, just, <laughs> yeah. it's too much. I, oh, I, I missed a Waddle Dee? No. Oh, God, I'm going to have to replay a stage. Oh, no. I, I, I think I think the, the series I can recall that like made me cringe the hardest was Last Man on Earth. Cause like in that one, the oh, main character, yeah. he's just he's such a like asshole for the beginning. That's like it's funny, but it's like, eh. uh, there's a couple stuff on Twitter that's funny. Uh, a double made another amazing drawing, which oh. is uh, Ted, Derek, and Ant trying to race Kirby, and then John's just in the clouds as God. He's like, how do I change the controls? And John's like, press L or R to change mid game. Oh, thank God. <laughs> is Johnny a God? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what I do. Everybody gets one. <laughs> one god? You may, spank, you may spank it once. You may. <laughs> I had to explain that to someone. When I said you may spank it once and they didn't get it. I'm like, oh, okay, so there's a picture of Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> no, first is the collective silent. <laughs> All right, now you have to look at this chart first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me go. Just a bit. No. I'm gonna just have to hope it, that John misses a whole bunch of all these. Uh, that's very possible one. because um, I've no, I'm in no man's land right now. We uh, we got five dollars from Chaos Blazer three two one. So is the preacher going to be visiting the streams daily? I can't say the C word. Also, John, uh, Ted, I saw that BSC is redoing Batman. When the Cowabunga collection arrives, uh, do you guys plan on redoing Turtles in Time for the channel too? Does the Cowabunga collection have online multiplayer? Yes, it does. Yes. Okay, then we should probably do that at some point. So yeah, I mean, I'd be, um, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> they have rollback netcode for the tournament fighters. Why? Really? That's amazing. It's like, I'm glad, but why? <laughs> why not? Yeah, I think at that point it's like, it's why not? Uh, isn't it fairly expensive to get a server to do rollback? I mean, I don't know. Konami, don't maybe know. they have the money for it. I don't know. I mean, they make a ton of money off of, uh, like, people give them shit, but they make a ton of money off their, pl their, uh, pachinkos. Pachinkos and all that. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, like Sega's biggest money making for the longest time was their arcade machines in Japan. So, also, okay. I love what's funny about the in this comment is that Trav has traumatized him for this the c word. So he has to say when the Cowbunga collection arrives. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> and and then uh, five dollars from JFam for future note racers. You can see the total Waddle D count in the bottom right corner on the Overworld. Good luck. Oh, well, I know the total is it's the bo it's how much you need for the bosses. Yeah, and it counts per world. So it took me mm. three playthroughs of this level to realize that these are um, like to just process that these are uh, wind fans here. Like this is a wind farm you're playing through. This game's great. Oh. Like I, I wasn't looking at the scenery. I was just like looking at what is and isn't an obstacle. You know, so I didn't see wind farms. I just saw like, oh, that's a block. You know, so. I'm taking my time, but it's in the effort of like making sure I I have enough. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at now too. Like, because the 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 amount they ask for you at this point is, quite frankly, a lot. Like when I, the total I looked up, I'm like, uh, for for the last stage, basically like, oh, I just need enough for this last stage, and oh, that's not too bad. But when you oh, why did I pick that up? Um, when you look at the like for the level itself, the world itself, it's like, oh god, there's a lot more I need to get. Yeah, it's, so you actually it's need to be kind of thorough. The, it's at the end of the game where most of them you have to where you have to collect the most. Uh, I will forego this last section just because. Ah, uh, forego. A lot of time. No, you can't say forego. Forecome. Oh god, that's, that's it's canon to the, this game to say forego. It's facto forego. 
right? Am I crazy? Is that the name of the I, I have no uh, idea. Yeah, yeah, it's Four Go Dreams. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Four Go Dreams. <laughs> All the winds <laughs> of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank God. All right, I don't have to replay any levels. Um, you should do it just in, just for the heck of it, you know? Hmm. I like the level so much. <laughs> I think I'll try it a second time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He will always be the voice of Neptune to me. Who? Same. Um, I forget his name, but he voiced uh, Jay Peterman. Did he voice... In, did, uh, was it the same Neptune voice in the movie? No. No, no that was that was Jeffrey uh, Tambor in the movie. I do like Neptune in the movie. It's thinning. <laughs> It, yeah, it, it's John O'Hurley uh, is uh, TV show Neptune. That's it. That's it. Yeah, from Seinfeld. It's weird to me to think that Scarlett Johansson was in the SpongeBob movie. Um, right. Like, that, I know that was before she got really, really famous, but still, it's strange. And also in the game, too. Yeah, the fact that they got her for the game was wild. Uh, I did not know of, they did that. Holy crap. She has a lot of dialogue in the game, too. She's like your tutorial character. Um <laughs> She has dialogue in, like, every stage, pretty much. Wow. We got, uh, let's see, $5 from Email Dubas. So continuing from that Ratchet & Clank discussion, me and a few <laughs> others like Blue Dino were recently discussing an idea on what could happen in the next game, where it's discovered the Lombaxes had a radical power shift and they became fascist technocrats, like the Virtu- like, like, like the Viltrumites in Invincible. Thoughts? Isn't that basically the same plot twist as what happened to the Sh Chozo in Metroid? Well, I, I oh my god, it's Kevin went over the, this idea, uh, like one of the initial ideas for Kraken Time that they might revisit, uh, where they like another force is actually captured, like when they went to the other universe, they got captured, and you have to. The whole point is rescuing it, so it'd be kind of like the um, rescuing the uh, dragons in the original Spyro. It's a callback for them. Ooh. Yeah, that, that, that would be an interesting. I mean, I haven't played Rift Apart yet, so I don't know exactly how the story goes. That would be interesting if they went. Yeah, they'd be like, "Oh, we actually yeah. see the Lombaxes." And it's like, yeah, they're just a I, bunch I, of, but a bunch of. Although I don't, I feel like Ratchet fighting after, Ratchet fighting his dad, who is actually an asshole, feels like that. That feels very kind of cliche. Like it, now, like now that that, that that's that storyline's been done to death so much in other things. Times already done. I think it, that, yeah. honestly, yeah. I think it's it's, it's a lack of payoff. To after all this time, all this searching, like, granted, he's always going to pick Clank as, you know, his one true friend. He's going to stick with Clank just because he's been with him all that time. But to have the the, the uh, Lombaxes just end up being assholes, I don't know. I, I prefer more like Kung, Kung, Fu, Kung Fu Panda 3 for a weird... Uh, comparison yeah I, I literally yeah literally the when i saw kung fu Panda 3 that's what i thought about is that oh yeah they they all went into hiding to basically just be on their own like they went they went to hiding to basically because like oh they were endangered so they're just they're just kind of chilling in their own like kind of like private like sanctuary it's like yeah that, that's what i always thought the lombaxes were I mean, they, you could you could maybe do it like kind of Wakanda of like them basically hoarding all of their like uh, technological like uh, superiority because they're like, oh, we don't think the world can like handle this when it's like, oh, you could yeah. do so much good with this. Which actually, which actually fits because the last time they took pity on something, it blew up in their faces. Yeah, with the Kragmite. Yeah. That's so a you... lot of Animorphs. Oh, God there you damn go. it, Ted. Were you what, wait, were you going to bring that up? No. No, but that's the, the so the evil the evil alien species in Animorphs, the Yurks. They're like little slugs that go into your brain and take over your brain. Um, the you find out that the backstory is, is that one of the Andalites, which are the good aliens that look like deer but they have a scorpion tail, um, uh, they one of them took pity on the the Yurks and tried to teach them uh, like space travel. And turns out that oh wait, they're a parasite. They're gonna space travel and then. Uh, go all the way across the world to try to off across the universe to like invade people. And then that guy gets socially ostracized from his species and is sent to another planet. And then he ends up fucking up that planet too. Um, wow. Animorphs I heard people. Animorphs gets real. I've never read them, but I, from everybody that did read them, apparently it gets really messed up. There's several episodes where Marco, uh, like the wisecracking, uh, like jokester kid of the group, 
Uh, his battle form is a gorilla. Uh, there's multiple episodes where he, where they talk about him holding in his shredded intestines into his stomach as a gorilla. The hell? Um, Do they heal I, after they... Uh... Yeah, they heal after they transform. Um... Uh, which doesn't make a lot of sense because, like, they're not very consistent with it because they mention at one point that when uh, they transform, like, she kept a haircut that she had before she transformed, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, but, you know, whatever. It's it's a book for eight-year-olds, so I'm not going to... Um, Is like, it, though? <laughs> I mean, that, that's what it was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> I just I remember uh, as a kid I loved the these the, it, it had the dumbest name it was called Spooksville, but I remember it oh, being no. pretty wild too because it had um, I remember they, they they were fighting these cold people, and they went to the crazy military guy to get weapon weapons to actually fight these cold people that could just instantly turn everybody into ice, and they, they utilized his uh, hot air balloon. And his flamethrower, and just were riding in a hot air balloon, uh, spitting a flamethrower into the town to take out all these uh, these cold people. And I just remember it being the most badass thing I ever read in my life at that point. Oh, uh, we got. Uh, let me see. Uh, Ten dollars from Newt. Just noting, just donating to remind everyone that Moonlight Canyon is one of the best tracks in this game. Fair Which dude. one's Moonlight Canyon? The one I'm in right now. <laughs> The, uh, the windmills and whatnot. Oh, yeah, that track's great. Um, the one that I, like, a lot of people really like the first level in the Ice Worlds music. I don't I don't really get that one. Like, it's fine, but I don't, like, think it's amazing or anything. The only song I've regularly gone back to is the... Oh. The only one you've regularly gone back to is what, Ant? I, the D-D-D the D -D -D theme. Honestly, this game's soundtrack has been fairly, like... Um, vanilla for me so far. It's not bad. What was the name of the ice theme? Uh, North Street, something like Frost North Street. Or something like that. That's something. the one Ted was saying he wasn't impressed with. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, God, yeah. I love that thing. I'm not a... Yeah, it just doesn't stick with me. Um, yeah, this game's soundtrack is pretty middling to me, all things Oh, considered. okay. It's, it's not bad. It's fine. But uh, it just not a lot sticks with me after the fact. I really like the... Um, the Forgo Dreams theme, but I wish they had a different one like at least part way through it because it does get a little repetitive after like six worlds <laughs> of doing that in the post game and uh we got uh five dollars from ian bow as a quick one can trav's plankton say and then i posted it uh in the thing it's a, just a short sentence well that's good at least <laughs> give me a minute <laughs> <laughs> All right, I should have enough because I made sure to like be pretty thorough with all these. Zippers. Uh, the family is out of town, and I think my cat is like, "Where the fuck are people?" <laughs> <laughs> I need people to love me. Sorry, cat. I'm playing Dark Souls. Don't you mean hanging out with your friends? Oh uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, I think that is hanging out with his friends. His friend is Dark Souls. Introverts playing with friends challenge. Impossible. <laughs> Look, Can it's you harder beat than this sounds. game without talking to your friends? <laughs> Honestly, like, yes, exclusively. Even though I am a self-proclaimed introvert, I would be totally happy just like playing with my DS in a room with a bunch of other people also playing their DS and like just yeah. not talking. Like, Me and my friends awesome. call that coexisting together. Yeah, that sounds like literally the best thing ever. Dude, sometimes uh, me and my friends will have hangouts like that where it's just like, hey, I'm going to come over and then like just play on my switch in the corner. Oh, done like, 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 sure, that's fine. Sometimes you don't want to like, like converse, but you want to like be in people's company. Yeah, I understand it. It, it, it's, really. like, it's like when you're in a voice call with something, but you're never talking. You're just kind of listening to everybody. Maybe like, yeah, this, you're just, you're just, Look, you're just right. kind of like relaxing. You can use my name, okay? I'm sorry. I thought that would be funny. Oh my god. I hate Silly Dillo. Silly Dillo yep. is one of the more annoying bosses, but he is also the best name uh, in the game. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Did you just call him a bitch? Yes, because I was charging up for the big hit, and he he, he dodged to the side just as I uh, unleashed it. Okay. At this point, I'd rather not miss. Uh, yeah, because now it's a game of like how is it, it worth going after this bottle day? Yeah, like I'm doing one in a hidden room, and I've barely done that the whole game. Uh, but I like don't want to miss any. You know? Yeah. Like, I think 30 should probably be fine for Waddle Dees. No, it's like 35 or something. Uh, uh... Oh, wait, but it was good that I did do this one, because this one also unlocks. This one effectively unlocks too, so. When that happens, it's nice. Oh, no. Oh, God. Maybe I should have put this. <laughs> Man, it is. I hate crazy how little damage you do with the base weapons <laughs> yep um trav do you have the a, like a tuba sound on your soundboard and like oh, boom, 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 uh, boom, i can boom, get boom, one boom, boom, boom. i can get the veggie oh opening. no fuck i had me, i had dude. a single oh. pixel of health oh what happened no i just fell <laughs> oh well there you go got him silly dillo just brought out his wife i had a Wise. single pixel of health that i was trying to navigate with no weapon Oh no! Oh, but oh, we're good. All right, where's that quote? This is the serious part of the run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the taxes one? Uh, yeah, that, that, that line, that short line I just sent. Come on. Well, okay, I got I got a waddle to get out of that, so it's not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> For fire, no. <laughs> Hold on. For fire, nope. For filing my tax, nope. I can't get it now. For filing my taxes early, Karen's boyfriend let me hold her head for a minute. <laughs> that was a mood. People follow me. How can Plankton type with boxing on? <laughs> That's, Bal That's Balrog. We got right. uh, four, we got forty dollars from Logan. BSC has covered Doom 2016 and Eternal. What is everyone's general opinion of the Machine Games Wolfenstein trilogy, New Order, oh, Old I Blood, and New Colossus? I have them. I have not had a chance to play them. No, I have not played um, them either. So yeah. uh, I heard they that the... uh, they go into some very heavy subject matter. So. Uh, just know that going into it. Well, it is a it is a game about World War II still, right? So like, yeah, it's fairly. It, dark. It's an alternate universe where the Nazis won, and you're part of a rebellion. Um, do they? It's a very good story. Do they establish like why the Nazis won? Like what changed? What was different? American incompetence. I mean, that uh, already uh -oh. existed, but they still <laughs> lost. Ooh, yeah. little real. <laughs> here's, no, but here's the thing. You, <laughs> have to re you have to remember, about the thing you have to know about the Nazis is that, like, there's all these quotes about, oh, but they make the trains run on time. They didn't make the trains run on time. Uh, they were actually, like, like there are many they were pretty grossly run. incompetent. Yeah, there's, but... there's a lot of things that, like, I, I, I hate to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but it's almost like a bunch of Nazi apologia. Uh, there's a better term for that. Um where it's like, all right, I'm starting to think you guys are just trying to whitewash history. <laughs> they, they, they are. Uh, that That is 100% what they're doing. Why did you take me back to the town? I hate you for taking me back oh, to sorry. the town. Oh, no, it's not you. <laughs> Why not? I, unless you, like, program the game to do this to me, then I think you're fine. Take me for a ride. <laughs> oh, man, I, I needed to get a... Oh. If I got the With crash, I would have... my nuts on my hand. 
We have $5 from uh, uh, Arrow09. Hey everyone, donating again because I want that Kirby poster. Here's a question I'd like to hear some of you answer. What's a game that you would like to see get re-released, but likely can't due to licensing reasons? I'd like to see the Def Jam games on modern systems, but that's not likely. Uh, Transformers oh, games in general. <laughs> uh, Xeno Gears and... I guess Xeno Saga by extension, but yeah, I'd love to see uh, some more of Xeno Gears, but I don't think they'll actually uh, do that. What's a game that they'll never re-release? Tony Hawk Underground would have been quite sick. Yeah, they specifically canceled uh, the Tony Hawk 2 and 3. Uh, yeah, 3 and 4, didn't they? Yeah. Activation. Smart. Yeah. Let's go. I'm go I really I liked when Crash was alive for 20. They were Crash 4. Whatever no. happened to that guy? <laughs> Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I don't know if that's a licensing thing. That might just be a Konami sucks kind of thing. Well, right. they they probably treating Kojima like they treated uh, like, uh, Capcom treated anything from um, Inafune. Yeah, or Inafune after he left. Well, no, in in a, in a Fune was Capcom. Uh, that's what I'm Konami. saying. Is that yeah. oh, Capcom? Oh, well, Capcom, right, Capcom yeah. How Capcom treated um, anything by Inafune afterwards? I know it's not um, anywhere near as big of a deal, but I can't believe Pac-Man is getting a. Oh, I, I've never awesome. played that. I want to try it. I think that's. Really I think it's things. exclusively because they don't own Miss Pac-Man, <laughs> so they're like, "Well, we gotta make the game again if we want to make this without Miss Pac-Man." Yeah, I guess so. I can't believe that. Like, Bamco should just like buy at games or whatever the hell that company is called. They like, probably could afford it. <laughs> Because they're not doing anything with Miss Pac-Man. They had a 3D Miss Pac-Man adventure. Yeah, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness. That's that's that will never see the light of day. I mean, that game sucks. So. Oh, the, what, did it? Absolutely not. That no, game's terrible. I, I uh, really like. I really like it. it. Has a fantastic soundtrack. The soundtrack is catchy. I will admit that, but game's trash. Nope. Okay. Are we gonna have like a <laughs> Pikmin One versus Pikmin Two debate about Miss Pac-Man for the rest of our lives? Sure. It's good content. <laughs> it's good content. Do it for the bit. Mm -hmm. Do it for the bits. Bits, yeah, yeah. Speaking of, donate. <laughs> but not with bits, because the charity doesn't actually get those. Ah, uh, fair enough. Although, Twitch charity might let that happen, but I don't know if we want to even, like, use Twitch charity. Probably not even sure. worth trying to use. Because, honestly, I really like Tiltify. It has been, like, one of the best. We started using Tiltify last year or the year before. Um... And it it was it was uh, a 2021. That was when we first used yeah, uh, for the Ratchet and Clank race. Yeah. And it's made the it's made the whole thing so much smoother. Um, so. Uh, we have twenty five dollars from Ave the Gamer ninety five. Have any of you had a chance to play the Cuphead DLC yet? If so, what do you nope. think of it? No. Nope. nope. I've heard good Sorry. things. I've also heard it's rather short. So. I mean, Cuphead's not a long game to start with. So. Given the production values of the game and already, I'm not surprised. The I'm Cuphead not surprised how really long good. it took to come out. I'm also not surprised on how short it is. Yeah. Like the the TV show uh, on Netflix, excellent uh, for Cuphead. Um, but uh, I haven't played the game. It doesn't seem like my genre, really. Yeah, I think uh, my you hot like take Boss is Bikes. I don't really. Yeah, that's the thing is, I think my hot take is. I uh, your your microphone is cutting out, Ant. Is it? Yeah. Oh, well, just yeah, it's sort of like a noise gate thing more than yeah. cutting out. <laughs> Hello. This Sound microphone. Here. This microphone's not not great. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you sound fine. Okay, cool. There you go. Yeah, I think my my uh my hot take is that cup. I don't really. Oh, could you not beat the tutorial? Are you a bad video game <laughs> journalist? <laughs> no, that's me. Uh, no, I just didn't. I don't like boss rushes. Mm. I, my favorite stages were like the, the the running guns, and there weren't enough of them. You see, that's the that's the exact opposite of everybody else's opinion. On yep, it. yep. Uh, and the contrarian. And have you <laughs> played uh, Metal Slug? Uh, yeah. Do you like Metal Slug? Uh, aesthetically, uh, it is way too difficult. I think. Uh, it's annoying that one of like the primary mechanics are is like save the POWs and then if you die once the score resets to zero, so it like asks you to do a perfectionist run. 
It's not great. Yeah, you, it's it's. I found it a lot more fun to play when I was uh, when I just like had infinite lives. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. But they're they're fun aesthetically. They're great. Neo Geo in their peak is. Tactics is looking pretty great. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, isn't T. Lopes, isn't T -Lopes doing the music? Yeah, he is. Yeah, so it's good. That's yeah, nice. he's, he's, he's gotten everywhere. Banger right. game. That's guaranteed. If he does the so soundtrack, wait, do it's you, a banger um, gang. Gang. Yep. Gang. Banger <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a little different than I intended. <laughs> do you uh do you feel the same way about games like Contra? Uh a little bit. I, the the POW thing I think we're... Contra is just more intense, like just get to the end. But they expect right. you to perfection uh metal slug for the POWs and that's dumb, but Contra's good. Um I really like what was the the new not it wasn't Contra, but uh the Bloodstained for Contra that came out a couple of years ago. Oh, um... Oh, shit. I know what you're talking about. It was Contra by... But not Contra. The I, I wanted to say, iron like, something? Orange. No. Or iron, yeah. Orange. Holy shit. Agent um, didn't, um... Didn't Fuck, Way Forward release, like, uh... Something called Blazing Spider Chrome. Sores? Blazing that, Chrome. Yeah. Yes, Blazing Chrome was Blazing fantastic. Chrome, that was it. I know, uh, I know I, uh, Way Forward released this thing called Spider Sores, which, yep. uh... Yeah, you know, since they made Contra Four, I don't know if that's any good, but I don't hear people. I don't talk know. About it too I got much. the. I ordered the physical. Somewhere. But they are. They are. Um, you know, the guys who made Contra Four, and I heard that game was good. So, mm -hmm. might have the pedigree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think Way Forward also did Metal Slug Seven. Did they? Yes. Uh, oh. Wow. Uh, I don't remember. Metal Slug 7 was on DS, I thought. They, way forward, no, did do... I thought uh, 7 was on PS2. Or was that No, 3D? that was... It was DS, Metal Slug 7, and then Metal Slug, I think, did XX I just on PSP, which bottom? is the same game. Um, I know way forward did do the Smurfs on Wii U, so we got that one. <laughs> the Smurfs is a Contra game? Uh, I don't know. I haven't it played it, be. but I, I know they made it's about Smurfs to be. game on... Way Forward's uh, gameography is something else. It's amazing. You think it's just Shantae uh, and whatnot, but no. No, Shantae Classic. is what they can make on their free time. Yeah. Yeah. Classic uh, Game Boy Color beat em up uh, WWF Betrayal by Way, <laughs> yeah. by way Forward. That's always my favorite Way Forward game to bring up out of contact. Because it's weird, because you yeah. see, like, The Rock looking like a Shantae character. <laughs> Him. Is all the stuff like like the mummy demastered? Shut up, bitch! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about the mummy demastered. What the hell are you doing? No, actually, I never played that. My uncle loves that game. Though. I heard it's, it's really fine. Good. It's not bad. It's like okay. I think it's one of those things where it's just better than the movie, so it's just like, oh wow, okay, mm -hmm. quality. They did those SpongeBob handheld games. Yep, yep, yep. Which ones were they? I think it was like the movie. Uh, the movie game. <laughs> I forget. I did it for content. So I'm not <laughs> you don't remember, which you don't remember actually, content. I don't remember. I don't remember. You got you, you got paid it. and you were done. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't I, I played the movie on GBA a lot, and I was like, oh, that one I remember being really fun. I was like, oh yeah, that's a way forward game. Yeah. I still want, I want to play more Mighty Switch Force because I really like. Mighty Switch Force, Force, Force is so is great, good. Right. I've not Force played that one, but I've heard. Mighty Amazing Switch Force things. is like one of their best games. That's yeah. another composer, like anything he touches. Jake Kaufman. Jake Kaufman. Oh, oh yeah. Man. What's he What's he done lately? I don't know. Cause he did Shantae. The I think half. I think he worked on Half Genie Hero. He did Pirates Curse. I know that one. Yeah. I don't he know. Didn't what he didn't do five. Um, didn't do yeah. Strange. But yeah, the most feels strange that he didn't do five. Mm -hmm. Well, five is weird. <laughs> I didn't Someone... like seventeen. Someone put a screenshot of the rock in the game. Oh God! <laughs> yeah. Five Hi, is Greg is here. Hi, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Yeah. Uh, defend your uh, taste of Mummy Remaster. D Master. D Master. Sorry. And also, we got twenty dollars from Delinquo Savvy. Damn, she wasn't lying. That charity room can fund. <laughs> I was hoping you were gonna say fart, but whatever. Okay. Can't be winners. All right, this is a thing. Wow, am I only getting to this now? 
Hmm. What? Oh, uh, what? The the boss rush? No, uh, the rocket mouthful. There oh yeah, they only have was... it one other time in the um, in the amusement park. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think if I, like, fully clear one more level, I'll be, like, if I continue just playing pretty thoroughly, I shouldn't have to replay a level, because that's going to kill my run, is having to replay a level. Yeah, um, I'm kind of in the same boat right now. No, John, no. you're on a roller coaster. There we go. I like a dildo. Okay. Dude, I like a Sorry. fucking dildo. But look, look at the shape of Curry, man. I'm a fucking dick. That's, uh, you got your mind out of the gutter. Oh, Say sorry. what? Hey, the gutter's my home. <laughs> <laughs> you leave. That looks like the gutter's my home. home. Get out of my house. <laughs> All right, let's see if this strategy of mine paid off. <laughs> Are you going for uh, the hammer? Power? Yeah, no, I went for um. My favorite no. is Ranger, so I just got Space Ranger. Nice. That's why oh, I was Space playing that Ranger stuff. is really good. Space uh, Ranger is really good for the final boss. Oh, the charge shot. It was the other one with the charge shot. Yes. Yeah, I do remember that Sp one. Uh, you also get the um, uh, the really good dodge shot too. Yes, um, that that is the entire reason for those boss fights at the end. I I loved it. It felt like it saved my ass when I played it initially. I so. went for the the I went for the Meta Knight sword, which might have just been a waste of time, but I really it, wanted to. I really thought that it would be, because it also makes you move faster just in the levels too. Is the other thing. Right. That's not a bad idea. I feel bad. Like all these rare stone portals keep opening. I was like, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Now I got the the other issue is I got to be introduced to everything that got unlocked. Go fishing. Go fishing. I don't want to go fishing. Go fishing. Give me my gun. I want my gun. Give me my gun. Typical American, jeez. Kirby's we not got, American. <laughs> we got twenty dollars from Newt. I now need a Shantae and the Rock crossover platformer beat 'em up. Okay. It's our new double dragon battle toads. <laughs> that was such a did, did the no because double dragon was by Taito, was it? And uh, battle toads was rare. So like, why? Why that I have no over? idea. I have no idea why they crossed and, over. And apparently, like, uh, Double Dragon is in the um, Kunio Kun universe, the River City universe, because they keep mm -hmm. showing up, and the, the damsel in distress of the original Dr Double Dragon is one of the new playable characters in River City Girls 2. Wait, really? Are they? That's kind of cool. Yeah, she's ripped as hell now. My face hurts. What you do now? Okay, I got two more. I didn't know how much I needed, so I got more of those uh, things than I, uh, than I got more crystals than I needed. Oh, well, but I have Space Ranger. I got I got my space gun. I am now Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> oh, it's not here. Yeah. <laughs> I did not see the new Buzz Lightyear movie, but I did oh, not hear I great it. things. That's did, really? I loved it. I, I genuinely loved it. Oh, wow. Um, however, I have very low standards. Oh, so. <laughs> if you like something, you like something. Yeah. I, I'm also a mighty number nine apologist, so. Oh, okay. oh, oh you get out of here, you oh, trash. No. <laughs> Trav, I'm so sorry, but uh, my respect for you just went down. Like, <laughs> oh, good. Threefold. No, I, um, I didn't follow the games. Please. I didn't follow the game's development at all and didn't even know that it came out. And then I played it and I'm like, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, you know, what? I don't think a, a game. folks that did not follow the development and don't know like the history behind it probably benefit the most from it. Nah, I yeah, still, like, I still think as a game it's trash. Um, I think as a game it's okay, but that's like that's the most I'll no, give it. No, I like, think it, that it, game it's fine. is a failure of level that has. Several I also am a. I'm a bit of a hippie, and I <laughs> like to look at the positives of things more than the negatives. Right. 
Um, yeah, I, yeah I, I feel with it. Like, I tried, yeah, because I did, I did it for an LP. Uh, I, I tried, like, my best to do it, but, like, there was just so much, like, playing through the game just kind of bugged me of being like, oh, why is this like this? I, I think it's because I tried doing a lot of, like, Mega Man stuff because, like, oh, this is kind of like Mega Man, but certain Mega Man isms weren't in it, so it just kept tripping yeah. me up. It's like the way, the, like, you, because you'd always think that, oh, pausing the game and, like, switching uh, over, like, to your items, it's like, I, yeah, like, I was really that, awkward. And it's like, like you can't kind you can't, of do it. The fact that you can't do that in uh, Mega Man, and you can only do quick select, and it's like yeah. for like like certain bosses, it's like oh, I need to figure out like what weapon I need, but I have to just do it on the fly with quick select, and then I'd like die by doing that. And it was like that was the biggest pain yeah. for me looking back. So for me, um, this is sort of uh, how I do my content on YouTube, but please don't take this as me shilling. Um, I. Uh, I like to look at the history of games, and if I'm uh, looking at a series critically, I like to start from the very beginning and even look at like more obscure games through release order, just to look at like how these ideas evolved over time. Um, and I have a lot of Mega Man under my belt that I think is worse than Mighty Number no. Nine. Uh, or there are Mega Man games that I think are worse than Mighty Number no. Nine. Sure. Um, and that's kind of where my standards were. It was like, all right, I'm fine if it's not the worst Mega Man game ever, and I don't think it was, uh, because I look at it from the mentality of like, oh, this is basically a Mega Man game. My. Um, oh, go ahead, draft, but. No, I mean that was that was basically it. Um, I think that the game is fine as a Mega Man game. I'd rather play it more than, like, Mega Man 5. Um, wow. That's funny because Ash Ash loves Mega Man 5. That's his favorite Mega Man classic ooh. game. Same with TJ. I, I've I seen TJ some of his Twitter five. takes. I want to have a conversation with that man. <laughs> I'd be up for it. I'd, I'd find it funny. Because um, I, I, right. 6 is my favorite Mega yeah, Man. Yeah, 6 is my favorite. Too. Yeah, 6 is great. 6 is great. Um, I'm kind of a basic bitch. I only really like two. Uh, I mean, if you gotta like one, two is two is still good. Yeah, yeah. I I think two is really good. Um, my issues with two really come down to the fortress at the end. Oh no, I um, don't like the end of any of the Mega Man. I kind of have issues it, with Mega Man. In I'd like three more if it wasn't for the freaking Doc Robot. Doc Robot. Doc Robot. Yeah, no, I'm I'm exactly the same. I think that I would like three more than two, but Doc Robot just ruins it for me. If they were just the why couldn't they use the sprites? If the old uh, sprites Derek, were still you and I around. should have a conversation about this. Oh, really? Well, they is have there, the is sprites. Is there a reason? Like, they just don't uh, have No, I just want to come on the podcast. Uh, oh, I, I see. We haven't had guests on GVG Cash yet. We should do that at some point, really. All right, now I feel <laughs> awkward. Take it back. It's always been for personal reasons, but I've always said 10 is my favorite. 10 is good, I think. Oh, we have a raid. Fine. Uh, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Kara to stare. Well, thank you for hey, very much. Thank you. you. Give us money. Give us raise <laughs> We're raising money. We're raising money for the Diabetes Research Institute. Uh, they're, they're a great organization that uh, that is helping uh, uh, look, look for a cure for diabetes. Uh, we've currently right now raised five thousand two hundred and eighty dollars and sixty nine cents uh, of our fifty thousand fifteen thousand dollar total goal. If we raise seven thousand dollars by the end of Sunday, we'll unlock our first incentive day on Monday. Uh, right. If you donate five, if you donate at least five dollars, you can uh, put your money in for a daily raffle, which is today is the Kirby uh, fabric poster from GameStop. There's also the twenty dollar uh, Switch OLED, which is the event raffle that'll go off at the end of the event. I heard you say deli raffle, and I was like, ooh. Oh. Ooh, yummy. Mm. Uh, right after, uh, in about uh, a little uh, over an hour, uh, once they're done the race, uh, there will be the Spiral the Dragon 1 race between me and Catherine. And getting... then... Ooh. I'm sorry, we're getting close to the end. This is John and I are on the last level. Uh, you serious? Ooh, down to the wire. Are you on the last level? Yeah, I just started it. John's like a good way into it. Though. Isn't there like another world? You gotta do. Uh... Oh, you're. I, he's uh, talking about the last actual level. Oh. 
Oh, here. Uh, so for some updates regarding uh, for the bid uh, for the bid wars, there, there's a, there's of course still the Jackbox ones, uh, which uh, currently at the moment, yeah, we got like Civic Doodles, Patently Stupid, Whiplash, Talking Points, Survive the Internet, and Champed Up as the ones that have been donated for. Uh, for Fortune Street, Mario One One is still winning. Uh, Mario Superstars, uh, Woody Woods is winning for that. Yes. Dead by Daylight, Survivor is winning by a large margin. Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2 are basically neck and neck with oh, 580 really? for 1 amazing. and 570 for 2. One is oh, the other one for it? that oh, end. you need the thing to get up there. Uh, oh, Marvel vs. No. Capcom 2, that will end, uh, I believe, on the second Friday because that game is being played on the, on the Saturday. Right. Okay. So you got plenty of time, but I love how neck and neck those, uh, those games are right now. I'm <laughs> yeah. a little nervous about MVC 2 only because I'm, I don't know how we could set it up. But, oh, uh, I'm sure there's a back for that. Experiment's got it back for that. Okay. Yeah, Tetris 99 versus Pac-Man 99. Pac-Man 99 is winning. Uh, TMNT Shredder's Revenge has now taken a big lead over Scott Pilgrim Good. for that. And uh, Crash 2 for the Insane Trilogy has just uh, edged out 3. And 1 is pretty close behind, so it's like, that's any game. And that one is going to be closing off uh, at the end of Sunday if we don't get the Incentive Day, or Monday if we do get the Incentive Day. And I should note, there's plenty of time for things to change, so if you're, like favorite game isn't winning you can still make that happen you know with uh some choice donations or like just getting like your friends to help or whatever you know like, spread the word tell them if you don't donate we're not friends any no don't do that <laughs> we'll become or friends if you donate matter. donate the charity versus room or go to hell <laughs> or perish <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that anymore. There we go. Oh, holy shit. This, again, this feels like a good decision. <laughs> At least it's making my, I'm having fun with using my space laser. I've, um, I've been doing, uh, tooth aligners, uh, that I wear during sleeping time. And, uh, they are tearing oh, up the, the inside of my mouth. And I'm starting to feel it. It looks like it's neck and neck between me and Ants as well. Uh, where where are you at? I just fought. I silly just Dillo. I just beat Silly Dillo. Nice. Last place where I belong. I mean third. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be I'm gonna dark horse this and come in with my space laser and. Just absolutely just fucking just take it all the last second. Yes, that's been my plan since the beginning. <laughs> Like, when if you manage to pull it Interesting off, strategy, like, Cotton. Let's see how it works. Out for him. <laughs> I can't even be mad about the fourth dimensional chess playing. <laughs> um, I mean, the only like thing that I, kind of threw me for a loop is that front loading, uh, I didn't realize that it didn't um, carry over. Well, we were mentioning that a... the whole time. Uh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh, I did a uh, Mega Man X race with some other YouTubers and. I was the only one who went for the Hadouken and everyone in chat. And this was like when I was like still at barely a thousand subscribers. Um, the other people were like Jay's reviews who were much larger than me. Um, and everyone was like, what is this dumbass doing? Like he's way behind. And then I ended up winning just because I perfected the <laughs> You go one shot everything yeah. at the end. Yeah. Fuck uh, call Ryan dead. Yeah, I'm hoping that having the Mennonite Sword will let me save time on the final boss, which is I, not easy. Um, I I yeah, the final boss is definitely going to be tricky, and I think my range is definitely going to help me out. We'll, we'll see how it plays out, but... We we got uh, $5.21 from the 69 Destroyer. I would not allow this precious charity to be sullied by sexual undertones! Dude, I will. Dude. <laughs> Did you miss the blood and cock and ball torture? <laughs> and then they followed that up with another five dollar and ten five dollar and ten cents donation, saying, "Please ignore my bad math in my last donation." <laughs> oh wow! Holy what the fuck. dog I... doing? Oh, holy what shit. happened, John? No, I I went way overboard with the waddle days. Yeah. Um. How many do you have for this world? Uh, forty-two. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you did. Nice. Yeah. I want way overboard. I need to take a look at how many I have right now after this level. That way I can you only need just... 35. Um, I think it's only 32. Sounds like no, it's, it's 35. It's 35. Oh, it's 35? Mm -hmm. 
No, it's actually 3,500. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah better go back to, go back to the old stages, just yeah, to yeah. be sure. Ooh. Hey, John, want to die like two or three times? No. I, I, I'm just, hey, I John, want to die? To both of you. I think you both should die a few times. Damn, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's an oddly specific sound. Oh, crap. I like specific sounds. He's fighting DDD. It's not very poggers of you for saying that. You're pog. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I should have enough mythical look. Just try to enforce this. Uh, Stefan, I appreciate you. Oh. I thought you were just babe, but now it turns out you're just okay. bruh. Need <laughs> one, or one to three, one to one to three, and then one to four of these things, so we'll see. Oh, he's feral. Oh. Me when I see Big Booba. <laughs> <laughs> Awooga! Remember A when Wooga. King Dedede went, honk. like, absolute actually apeshit? Like, Dude, he got what's this design though? Like, I get like the the the, the design mentality behind it, but it's like, man, they really just made a fucking feral as shit in this game. Mm -hmm. It's cool. No, I love it. Good. All right, I'm in the final actual stage. No. Just... Oh, why did I pick that up? I didn't want that. Go away. The giant say. enemy spider. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good acapella there. Thank you. Not gonna lie, DDD on all fours kind of scared me on my first time playing the game. Good. Our move. It's working then. DDD's beyond any sense of free will, so the villains use him as a guard dog penguin. Oh, no. <laughs> guard dog penguin. Stop playing the game. <laughs> Why? It's too scary. The no, the final. <laughs> so, no, no. For, I, I love the I love the vibe of Lab Discoverer. Uh, but the true final That's not a version of the boss it's has so many fucking phases. Mm. Oh, the fi oh the true arena? Yeah, true arena is yeah. obnoxious. True, yeah, it was true arena. Thank you. I, I couldn't finish it. Like, Did you um, have the upgrade uh, final? Load, load up on attack uh, attack ups and uh, have a health uh, potion. Cheat and, using an amiibo. Yeah, did, okay. you, did you have all of the, so. like, the final... The final sword, uh... I had Galactonite sword at the end. Or Morpho, no. Morpho Knight, Morpho Knight, I'm sorry. It heals you, um, and you can yeah. upgrade the oh, levels yeah, yeah. beyond, like, final form. You yeah. can do, um, like, super max final form. Uh, where, like, it's plus two or three or whatever. Um. Oh, Leon. Oh, Leon. No, Leon. Tell him, Leon. Leon. <laughs> Leon! The Waldies helped open the gate. That That's nice. No, I don't care. Stop. I, I know that there's dimensional vortexes. That's, that's very nice, Kirby. Right. We got uh, $5 from Naka. Hey all, hope you're doing well. Had a question for people. Was there a series that you tried to get into but just couldn't? Like there are things you really like about it, but it just didn't click. Tales, Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Cock and Ball Torture. Um, I tried. Cock and Ball Torture. <laughs> um, I played like four games and I just, I couldn't get into it. Uh... The one that makes Twitter upset every time I say it. Yeah, is I was going to say, what's, F, what's, 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 the hot, what's, what's the hot take of the week? F0. F -Zero. F -Zero. Interesting. I don't like F0. I've, I tried playing F0 GX. Sure this will be Twitter interesting because Ryan did request for Brian? me to play through GX. Um, I'm terrible at it, so. Oh, yeah. Part of it's just because I'm bad at it, but I, I also don't <laughs> think that accurate. Um, so 
both of my answers are ones that I've actually come around on, so it uh, doesn't hold up today. Um, but it would be uh, Halo and Dark Souls. You're playing Dark Souls right now. Yeah, I know, but I you used to really not <laughs> like it. Um. Um, like, I, I didn't understand the appeal. Uh, I, I didn't get it, and then it turned out I was just really bad at it. And I... I so I, I always approach Dark Souls... I hate it when Souls. the good, good method actually works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I always approached Dark Souls as like, oh, it's retro difficulty. If you die, just learn patterns. Uh, it is... So, like, that that's definitely viable, but that is, like, you are not using a majority of the mechanics of the game uh, to play if you're playing that way. And, you know, a beginner shouldn't be playing that way. Oh, so I just God. had a fundamental misunderstanding of how the game wants you to play. Oh god, the boss John's on is the most terrifying thing in the Kirby game. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? I had some fun I listening all, to Amy I, react to I some see, of this stuff. All I see is fucking William Burke. In it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this just in: Ted is afraid of cum monster. <laughs> yeah, don't don't play uh, Pac-Man two then uh, on Super Nintendo. Oh so, God, Pac-Man Two. There's a cum monster in Pac-Man Two on Super Nintendo. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to play yeah. Pac-Man Two. <laughs> it's a gum monster, but I mean, it's basically the same. The, the uh, it's like a gum a monster, but the the G and the C look very similar. Wow. See, I grew up a good Christian, and I played that game, and I didn't know that's I did, like didn't picture it together, and then I didn't someone... even know what the word cum meant until high school. <laughs> That's an interesting discussion for the table. <laughs> I mean, you clearly I weren't mean, listening you to your the sermons come? then in that case. Uh, when I was watching a video from an old YouTuber and they mentioned the word hentai and I didn't know what it means, so I looked it up. Oh, no. I bet that was an education. <laughs> we got uh, $15 from Brights. Hey guys, great to see you guys doing another charity stream. Followed you all for a while and appreciate the work that you all do in your content. For my question, what genre that hasn't been used for a Kirby game would you like to see them try? Have RPG fun RPG with Grace RPG. and the rest of the event. RPG. Oh, actually RPG, yeah, that's a good answer. Like the only other one that's realistic. FPS. <laughs> Take Kirby me has a gun now, it could happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Kirby third person shooter would be fun. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't like the idea of inhaling in first person. All right, John, do you have any upgrade for your uh, boss fight? Nope. Wow, okay, so you might be in trouble. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm very curious how you're going to do against this. Because that was my whole thing, is just preparing for that boss. I heard Derek just going <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Clearly, you don't own an airplane. <laughs> what? Shut up. I love that so meme so much. <laughs> It was so annoying because I heard that meme for the time one did buy an air fryer, and he did that to me. And then okay. I heard the meme, and I was like, oh god, an IRL oh, bought an air fryer, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I was like, oh, you can get one. God, it's just a pl I I have an air fryer, barely use it, but... I like my air fryer. I We're used to use it daily. <laughs> We're working at Walmart, is like I had somebody come up to me, like, because they were, like, looking, they were, like, looking for an air fryer, so, like, they showed me what they're looking for. I pointed towards them, and then after they left, under my breath, I said, clearly, they now want an air fryer. <laughs> and then I just, and then I just sullied off. And be like, this is what I do to make myself happy. Uh, Walmart moment. I haven't had a lot of hashtag Walmart moments lately, which I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag like Walmart moments sounds like some viral marketing. We're going to the like, do you remember I think when, John is uh, going to take this, honestly. Do you remember when Walmart was trying to do like this uh, marketing where or on social media they would post images of employees? Um, the famously happy holding Walmart up. employees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> loving yeah. their job so much. Uh, one of my favorites was, uh, uh, look at Brandon. Brandon sure loves these 50 cent per pound bananas. And it was just like to advertise deals. And the, all of the employees just had no life in their eyes. Sounds about right. The only good Walmart social media is Walmart Canada Gaming. Because they yeah. just talk about Banjo-Kazooie the whole time. 
Uh, red rad raccoon, absolutely, dude. Air fried potatoes just hit different. Um, big recommend. I screwed up at the end here. Oh no, John. I'm only just getting defecto alvilus now. Oh. What the fuck is that? I think if, if I didn't have to re. I think if I didn't have to replay a level to get more. Yeah, if I had, if I didn't have to replay a level, this would be closer. Because uh, John, you didn't have to stages. replay any stages, right? No, I played three stages. You yeah, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> I guess because I, di I didn't use Ted's method of uh, getting extra stuff. I just expect John to win every time there's a race, just despite yeah, me too. never playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a the Dream, dream Buffet a launch stream. Wow. Yoinky Spoinky. Johnny. Yo, he's hitting the Yoinky! Ow! Fuck! Sorry, I just died. I am... Finally approaching bottle... D -D -D -D. Damn it. John's got the truck. He's basically won. <laughs> no, he could screw up the truck. Maybe. That'd be impressive. I, I can't you. imagine it. Mm. <laughs> oh, I was expecting the long, the backwards long jump. <laughs> oh yeah, hold on. I'm yeah, yeah. Fly for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, you know what? Do you uh, have the the clip of the Mario Wario like that? <laughs> do you have like <laughs> <laughs> what? The oh, you don't know that one? It's the, like, the video with the mar the mouth just losing it, and it's just the Wahoo just like going infinite. I forget what the actual video is called. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up, and I'm probably gonna get some weird results. I feel like someone probably. In the chat will know what I'm talking about. Mario mouth, wahoo! This is like Wario, like Mario and Wario laughing or something. Mario, Wario. Look up laughing. screaming Wario. Yes, yeah, people are saying Mario in the chat laughing. it's Wario laughing. Oh yeah, I love Wario laughing. I love this the, final the... boss theme is like six minutes long. Uh, for the record, like so is Wario laughing. Let me get the these on the soundboard. This guy's like, what the fuck? Is that a truck? Yeah, everyone's like, truck Kirby! Don't worry about it. Oh, come on. Beep, 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 Honestly, beep, beep. I'm pretty happy. I think my Meta Knight strategy did end up being fairly successful because of how well it treads boss fights. Um, I just didn't... I think I just screwed up playing the game normally. Because, um, like, I'm just about to do the... I'm right at the truck sector right now. My strategy is working for these final bits, but it's the it's the fact that it's I, you get it so late. Yeah. Yeah, you get Meta Knight. Meta Knight Sword's like the first... The, first ability you can get that's tier three and that's just good enough. And now everyone's saying this is like the end of a persona game. I'm only now happening? getting the, the D to D fight. This this ending is still really cool though. Like I oh, didn't totally. know what how they were going to like make an ending even more ridiculous than some of the nonsense they've had in other Kirby games. Oh I was kind of hoping Kirby had his fucking Kid Goku moment going through, like, Demon King Piccolo with the truck. <laughs> <laughs> like, now it looks like they're just going full trigger. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, just throw the moon at you. Throw the moon uh, at you. That is time. Yep. Uh, woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. I am so upset that John has won yet another race. I know. I, I was specifically <laughs> looking up Mario. stuff to try to prevent that, <laughs> but I... <laughs> All right. Holy fucking shit, what the hell was that? Like, don't let me I can't believe that. you guys haven't heard that before. No, I've never no. heard of that That's before. That's amazing. I love that video. Never, never heard of that like before. We got... A, a, we, a we, have 15, we have $15... Oh, we have $15 from Newt. You've been hit by... You've been struck by... Truck. truck. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard really weird laughing coming from the office. Are you okay? You think they should be used to that by now? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> do, you have a, do you have the sound of like the puffer fish? 
eating a carrot. <gasps> Somewhere. <laughs> that's one of my that's one of the all time sounds. I I used it in my Metroid video. <laughs> What do you use for your soundboard? I don't know, it's random fucking stuff. Uh, I use, <laughs> uh, voice mod alongside the stream deck. Oh, okay, so you do oh, use the stream deck. You do use the stream deck, alright. Yeah, but I have to use voice mod to make it come through on a microphone. Well, but good shit, uh... Good shit, guys, because, like... You, like, your strategies may be, like, a little front-loaded, but you guys caught up <laughs> really fast. Yeah, I forgot about the uh, Model D's not carrying over, so I was getting all of them in the early stages. That would have uh, wouldn't have won, but it would have brought me closer. Or did I just skip the final cutscene? No, here we go. We're gonna listen to the to the theme song because it's too good to skip. I have to say, like, not having this theme song play during the demo was like one of the best decisions they made. Oh, yeah. totally. Because, um, like, the fact that they play an anime opening for this game was just, aw, oh, dude. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, that said, uh, I, I'm now king of, uh... You did? No, I, I absorb Ant Dude's channel. Fine. Uh, and, uh... <laughs> like, release me. <laughs> we got about $10 from ComicMan315. Love this time of year. Johnny, can Luigi say, this isn't even my final form? Luigi time! Thanks, and here's to a great time. This isn't even my final form. Luigi time! <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine him just getting stabbed in the back. I was like, <laughs> kind of like Starscream or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he did kind of deflate differently, yeah. Did you say Starscream? Yeah, it's just like how Starscream finally becomes leader and then he gets shot and dies. <laughs> Someone who understands Transformers, I'm so happy. We oh. actually were ending fairly early. Uh, yeah, we are. We were spo we had the schedule to two, right? Yeah. Yeah, two o'clock. I mean, I still got it. It's funny because I was a little worried about that. I was like, is four hours going to be enough time? I remember, it's <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first playthrough taking like eight plus hours, but that was because I was so... I, I combed every level. Oh yeah, same. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, Leon, <laughs> this we're not is gonna, bad comedy. We're not gonna follow up on your uh, embryo status, sorry, dude. What? Uh, what? Anyway, this game's great. Um, you should yeah, play it. it really yeah, is good. It really is. It's on track to being the best-selling Kirby game. Because uh, it's God. already out. Probably already it's is. Yeah, because it's on a Switch. They Everything just, on yeah, Switch. No, they, they announced the numbers. I think they just the announced it's one. the fastest selling Kirby game. It's already outsold Lifetime, oh. uh, Robobot, and uh, Triple Deluxe. And what is the highest selling? Actually, I think it's still Superstar. Um, it's either Superstar. Uh, or I'll double check. What's well, been? Re they probably combined that and uh, Ultra. No, Let's I think see. I think that they probably would have them separate. Um, hold on. Would you? Would you recommend so, this over Trouble Deluxe, Planet Robobot, Return of the Dreamland? I think yeah, Planet Robobot is really still my good favorite. Is the, is the thing. Like, they're all fantastic games. Cause like, that's kind of where I fall in line. Like, I find the the shift to 3D the most significant part of it. If we're talking about mm -hmm. the game itself, it's regular Kirby. And I, 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 I think I remember saying that both a compliment and a detriment to the game. Where it's like, you know what you're getting, and that's great. But it's also like, why did this take so long to happen? Right. But it is also like, it is significantly better than Star Allies. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree. Even For though me. even though it only adds 3D, really, although I'd say the mouthful mode is a nice evolution. I don't think Star Allies had enough to really make it. No, the friend gimmick sucked in Star Allies. Yeah. Okay, so um, um, sales-wise, uh, the best, yeah, Kirby's, a, the best Kirby sale sell game, the best-selling Kirby game is Dreamland 1. Um, and then after, oh, weird. yeah, weirdly enough, Superstar actually sold worse than Crystal Shards, which is surprising to me considering the Super S Super Nintendo was way more popular. That is surprising. Than the, um, su way more popular than the N64. But anyway, um, just to put it into context, Dreamland 1 sold just over 5 million units, which is a lot. Um, yeah. Forgotten Land is already at four and a half and it's only been a year. Yeah, it's gonna beat it. <laughs> Not even a year. It's only been a. It's only. Few been, it's yeah. It's been less than six months. Uh, yeah. 
So, love, yeah. Love the Switch effect. Best-selling Metroid game, best-selling Kirby game. Is Dread the best-selling Metroid game? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Oh, dude. It, it deserves it. That game's awesome. Um, yeah. It's so good. It really is. Um, hold on. Anyway. Um, while we're... Um, Look at Kirby. Oh, that's it. If we're going to do another Kirby race at some point or another, we have to do Meta Nightmare Mode from Superstar. That feels like a good... Like I, I like, need to get myself a copy. That's the only like, bad. It's up. still fairly like, cheap. That's one of my favorite modes. Um, it's my first time do... fighting Leon without upgraded stuff, and it uh, sucks a lot. Yeah, I, I noticed mm -hmm. that just from fighting um, Silly Dillo, so... Yeah, this this is because my... if, if, if you can suck up like at least three stars with normal Kirby, that damage is significant. It's just that yeah. you gotta aim. And I'm not used to it though. Yeah. This is my favorite track in the game, the Forgo Dreams theme. Okay, Leon Garden. Also, like look at these look at the Waddle D band. How do they play keyboards with no figures? Who knows? Like at Nintendo and see if they answer. No, that. people are saying Star Allies was garbage day one. No, yeah. it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, not revisions. garbage. Like no, no, no. no but okay, people garbage are is too strong of a word. But people it's were too... thinking it was a weak entry from day one. That's yeah. not revisionist history. It's no, a weak. That is it's a weak entry, but like people yeah. were saying it's garbage. I feel like it's yeah, it's I not really... garbage. There is Kirby's stuff to are like spoiled. Um, like we really are. <laughs> like if we I mean, it may not be the weakest, but it's bottom three yeah it's a it's, like i'd still play it over squeak squad it's fair I, I wouldn't even say that it's oh, again really? like Damn. it's a fairly it's a fairly average and not super memorable adventure but again like if your worst game in your series is squeak squad not squeak squad sorry if the worst game in your series is star allies your series is pretty goddamn good you know yeah it's, yeah i would agree i think it just is more just um fatigue because it's the same gameplay has been used so often yeah there wasn't anything exciting about it you know i think mm -hmm. and the stage design was focused on multiplayer yeah. to the detriment of single player whereas return to dreamland was the other way around where that game's great in single player it's uh awful to play with friends i don't like playing return to dreamland with friends uh artemis says none of the kirby games are bad eh, dreamland 2 is pretty bad <laughs> I disagree with that, but I also that was my first Kirby, so uh, I have yeah, are we spin offs because there's some pretty not great spin offs, but of, out of the platformers, I don't think any of them are like terrible. I, some are certainly I, I, middling. I um, have a lot of Kirby games under my belt now, and I can safely say that Dreamland 2 was one that I legitimately thought, like, nah, this isn't good. Like, the friend system was okay, but I thought the level design was absolute shit. Well, one of the levels is a naked woman. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes it all good. We live in the world of right. 2022, Let's go. and we can make our own naked woman stage in Super Mario Maker. That look is good. That's true. That's true. Oh man, Facto Forgo really sucks when you have nothing to work. With. Trust me, I'm getting my ass kicked even without, even with Space Ranger. Uh, yeah. Um, Facto Forgo, I literally just took damage the entire time and hit him. Um, Clearly, you guys need to play more Bayonetta. Clearly, you've never. That is also true. Air Fry to Bayonetta. When does Bayonetta uh, we... three come out? They released October. 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 Damn. Nintendo is really stacking this year because yep. uh, Kirby, Xenoblade, Splatoon, and Bayonetta. And Live Alive. Li I mean, also Live Alive, no one's but I'm talking Alive. about like. Yes. In terms of. Uh, He's dying. Thank you. Apparently, the Metroid Prime remake is uh, slated for this year. I read. I, there was a I wouldn't believe that. I read, I read rumors for the fourth it. year in a row. There's yeah. a Metroid. There's a rumor about a Metroid. <laughs> This will be the year it happens. Dude, like, Metroid really? Prime Trilogy Remaster, at least Prime Web Remaster, is a fucking free space in a Nintendo Predictions bingo card. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, I mean, we're, not we're, saying that not saying that I wouldn't want it to happen. I want it to happen, obviously. But uh, like, we're closing I, in it, on five years since um, Prime Four announcement. Uh, I thought yeah. you were about to say Dread. I'm like, no way. It's been a long year. year. About ten years ago. I feel old. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the gap between Fusion and Dread is longer than the gap between Super and Fusion, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The gap between Fusion and Super was uh, eight years. Never, never thought that we'd ever get Dread. Like, no. Yeah, I, so. I I will always remember that, just losing my mind when we actually saw Dread come up. I never thought that we'd get another. I didn't think that Metroid Dread would be the fifth Metroid game. Like Metroid. Same. I thought it'd Metroid. be a Prime game. 
Yeah. Or like a spinoff or something completely different. Yeah. They could do a third person 3D Metroid game. I, I, I think they could make that good still. I know well, there's other a lot of I mean, fun. There's a lot done. of other M baggage, I understand. I think they could still do it. Um, they just need to. I think if they just uh, complicate the gameplay a bit more rather yeah. than just tap to win. Yeah, um, the it, Metroid it Other M should not have been a Wiimote only game. Yeah. Um, I, I think that was a. The, the one advantage I'd say is there's probably a very humbling experience for. Um, I, forget, I forget the leader's name, but. Sakamoto. The creator's uh -huh. name. Sakamoto, yeah. What has yeah, he worked definitely. on since? Um, uh, he did the voice synthesis for um, Tamadachi Life. Wait, really? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which awesome. is, uh, they use the same tech for that for Adam's voice in Dread. Oh, wait. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, like that That was the Tamadachi Life voice tech. That's hilarious. That's pretty uh, awesome, actually. I want Adam to say B-17 Baum. Baumer. <laughs> I mean, okay, so here's the thing. Yoshi, Yoshio Sakamoto can actually write. Like, he's not a bad Oh, writer. he's a very good writer. If you've ever played uh, Famicom Detective Club, uh, the remakes, those are really yeah, good. Really good. He's a really good uh, writer. It's just... I don't know. Maybe he was drunk when he wrote Other M. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was like his his his, his, his misstep was a really fucking big misstep, and you know, I I get it. It happens. Uh, I I think he's done more than a you know. You know I didn't realize it was the same guy who did Detective Club. That's really uh, interesting because yeah, the remakes are really. Yeah. Um, like, but he for, also like, worked on uh, the. He's Mine. also worked on the Rhythm Heaven and Mar uh, WarioWare games. Um, apparently. Um, okay. Sakamoto? Yeah, really? Sakamoto, yeah, which surprised me. But it makes sense when you remember that Metroid Fusion and Wario Land 4 are running on the right. same engine. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Uh, really? Well, yeah. Right, well, uh, Samus, uh, lead designer from the OG Metro, was also Wario main designer. It was Wario. You know, two <laughs> yeah. very, like, you know, you've got one fetish and then you've got a completely different fetish. So, you know... Um, uh, we got a couple uh, donations. Uh, fifth, uh, five dollars from Shard. I know I said I would donate next week, but here's another five bucks for yet another glorious victory for the Kirby, f for the best Kirby fan ever, John. Have a good day and congrats <laughs> to everyone for doing your best. How do best. I do it, kids? How do I do it? Are you uh, just playing a video of a speedrun? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, ten dollars from Splice. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you never. Oh, finish donations first. Uh, $10 from Anonymous. Congratulations to Johnny for winning yet another curb race. To celebrate, could I ask Mr. Johnny to say Infinite Sex Machine Crocomire as Bentley? <laughs> oh my God. That's from my video. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Infinite Sex Machine Crocomire. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> My and God. then, uh, Wait, was and that then from Super Metroid review? Yeah, that's from my Super Metroid video. Okay. Wow. And then, and then uh, thirty dollars, and then thirty dollars from Newt. Oh. Here's to another victory, Johnny. Just how do you do it? I remember. I think he my doesn't favorite care. bit. I think my favorite bit of your Super Metroid video. It's like it's blinking, you miss it, but you were encountering Mother Brain, and you still had grapple hook on. It. Yeah, and you just made a quick. I still had grapple hook on, <laughs> and you switched back out. So okay, did somebody really just play a video of a speed run at GDQ and pretend? That yeah. They, how did they uh, get yeah, away that with was, it? Uh, how did they get that away was with for that? For the Metal Gear Rising first. DLC, because so GDQ was in person, but some people were still playing from home. Oh. Uh, and the dude playing from home just uploaded a video he and... played he did metal gear rising an actual right. speed run but he was right. like upset at himself he like didn't do good yeah, or he did whatever some really fucking weird things he said at the end of that yeah like, it, was, uh. it was strange um but then yeah he had like an incentive for like a boss rush mode or whatever like 10 minutes later and that was a video <laughs> yeah um and it was like obvious where like the camera moved while he was like sh oh and you can't do head. enough damage to prevent the healing <laughs> That oh sucks. no! Yeah, no. This is this is bad. I have amiibo on my desk, so I don't take forever. Just heal myself with amiibo. Would that be against the? I mean, you're already. We last never place, said so you no. couldn't use right. amiibo. We never said that uh, you it's couldn't true. have a dog play I... Kirby in the Forgotten Land for you. Oh my god! I did. Unfortunately, I did. I did a level, an extra level, what? and I did two extra of those um, uh, little uh, challenges to get the, oh, cool. the no crystals. Health. 
<laughs> oh no. You should have just left it as an error occurred. <laughs> just quit the game right there. I was like, oh cool, no. Guys. Oh no. Good night, girl. No, that, that adds your defense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it, is. it doesn't matter when I have two pixels of health. All right, number three. There it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Wait, does Kirby not stay sitting if you if you have him sit on his foot? It's amazing you could use it that many times in a row. I think it's only it's either three or five. You probably want to use that. I was gonna say use that attack pack. It's not gonna matter. I'm still I'm, I'm, I still might die. <laughs> <laughs> I've never fought this boss without powered up stuff, and uh, I mean it, it really shows. it shows how much more difficult the game is without those power ups. No, Blue Dino, I'm being real, like, because I've, my last playthrough of this game was for that review a few months ago. I completely forgot that buffs were even a thing. Like, I the did. last, the last thing that I'm thinking about is going back to the world map for any reason, but that's just because of my, like, gotta go in a straight line mentality. Like, I, this is not an optimized thing at all. No. I mean, I thought about using, getting the buffs and getting healing and all that. It probably would have been a good idea. Oh, but you also but... waste time because you have to hear every single item like every single thing in the boss in the yeah. town um up here you know but like oh, well, like the only Try thing the jump that I attack. really the, uh, the only thing that I really cared about in my playthrough was just getting my volcano ability because I love volcano volcano shreds yeah. bosses like to smithereens if you know how to use it right yeah that was my idea with the, the space ranger but right. again my big uh the big problem with it is it's one of the last ones but even then it didn't take me too long to get through most stuff it was um silly dillo that definitely held me up the most i don't care if you think dragon fire is there i like volcano fire more <laughs> <laughs> john's the type of person who puts a neverstone on his charmeleon and keeps him that yeah, way the absolutely. entire absolutely oh you don't like charmeleon who doesn't like charmeleon he's a dick like charizard isn't <laughs> Yeah, I mean, jars are cost Ash a tournament. Only one Charmeleon has ever been a dick, so that means all Charmeleons are a dick. I see how that is. <laughs> Almost got him, man. No. Uh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> what a challenging game for babies. <laughs> is this Kirby. a Crash Bandicoot game? We <laughs> can definitely bring the Kirby. challenge, even if you don't... Uh, you know where to look for it. So before the game came out, everybody was saying, oh, Elphalan's evil and he's going to betray Kirby. And I'm really mad that he's the final boss, so they're validated, but he it's not his he's fault. He's also not. We I think we it's, a, it's necessarily nice, wrong. It's a nice spin on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not quite right, but they're also not quite wrong. Yeah. Truck. They were, well, go, they were well, definitely well, going well, more for the marks and... Um, yeah, well, no, technically, they, they, they said he was going to betray you. He didn't betray you, but he's the final. Yeah. See, it they're, is. They're, they're technically, yeah, they're not They're te not technically right. It is also kind of weird that every Kirby fan doesn't has trust issues, even though it's only happened twice. There's I mean, only here's Marks the thing. and Susie, kind of. No. There's um, also this, um, uh, Magalore. Magalore, Magalore, yeah. Magalore. Yeah, 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 Magalore was Susie, Susie never betrayed yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah not Susie, a... Magalore. Yeah, but like. But it happened twice. Here's the thing. You can learn to deal with betrayal. That's like um, that's like something you can learn to cope with. But once betrayal becomes a pattern, you that's when you start having real trust issues. Trust issues, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd agree. Yeah. I mean, then there's also DDD getting mind wiped, and who I don't even know yeah. how Meta Knight became a friend because he's he's like after Kirby, and then so apparently Meta Knight was just too much of a badass, and he uh, was able to just resist the mind control from uh forgo like he was just like nah I'm right good. but i i mean in the original game where he's like act like in kirby's adventure he's like no i'm gonna challenge you kirby and well, then like he a wanted revenge yourself kind of thing and i think kirby proved himself like six times and now he's like okay you're good <laughs> you are the most powerful being on the planet so I, I love how the, it basically comes down to any like verses it's like kirby or this guy and everybody knows to vote Kirby. That's actually a good point in that, like, all of the Meta Knight like, extra modes, he's, like, trying to prove himself as the strongest warrior, so he fights Galactonite, but Galactonite's still weaker than Kirby, so uh, Meta Knight should be trying to fight Kirby more. But mm. but he can I he knows he can never win. he's just accepted that Kirby's the, the, the savior of the world. So the is universe. he just going for second place? Wow. 
Well, yeah, Kirby's just a freak of nature. Meta Knight is less so. For well, his Meta special, he wields a truck. <laughs> For his special, Kirby wields a truck. They need a mod, Smash Brothers, to put this in the game. I mean, there's always the next Smash Brothers game. No, yeah. if Sakurai's like, like, in charge what? of the next Smash Brothers game, we're not going to see anything from after 64 in it at all. That's true. Okay, sure. Yeah, you're right about that, yeah. He doesn't like to do anything that for Kirby that he hasn't done personally. Yeah, that's just honestly a shame. Because honestly, I think the best uh, Kirby 64 is one of my favorites, but on average, the best Kirby games are the ones that Sakurai didn't have involvement in. Anyway, so that's time for everybody <laughs> then. Yep. Right, good job, good Ant. Shit, guys. Awesome. We're still early. Uh, we were going to start um, Spyro at 2. So I guess we'll talk with uh, Catherine and see um, if she's ready to start early. If not, well, then we'll start at 2. Then. Say bot vice? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. I, uh, actually, and I have not tried the new. Uh, Mario Kart courses yet? Any good? Yeah, I think they're good. I like them. I think it's uh, the new course kind of sucks. Oh really? Uh, the, the, the new course is weird. It's, it's just really a nice. it's just a uh, circle like, but with some elevation. It like, is an extreme circle. Yeah. Hmm. And there's ice cream. Uh, it's a lame court. The music's not even not good. No, oh, that's a shame. But like, I kind of like the Super Nintendo track. Um, they ruined Calamari Desert for the record. Um, oh, did really? They? I, I, think they I, I John loves it, so I, I don't know what they did to it. But they, John you loves can't it. choose when you get a ride on the train track. They I I like any course that changes up every uh, every. Well, the, yeah, but that's I, I really part like of why I like um, Calamari Desert. You get to choose when. No, we are not sullying this Kirby playthrough with Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm ending this uh, right now. Uh, how about Klonoa? Klonoa was great. Klonoa is just worse Kirby. Actually, John, I challenge you to Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Say what? You want to play me again? Let's go. Yeah, I'll challenge you to Yu-Gi-Oh. Why not? Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> All right. Okay. Night, everybody. Thank you so much. Do we have any <laughs> last... Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. We got a last minute donation. Can you read that out, Stefan, please? Uh, let's see. Okay. We got $25 from Ave the Gamer 95 One more donation before I hit the road. Congrats to John on the win and to everyone for great effort. Keep up the great work and always happy to donate when I can. All right. Have a good night, everybody. I don't know if, I don't know if mine was a great effort. <laughs> good night, you everybody. had fun. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs>